Oh, dude, look at that. That's pretty cheap. All right, let me grab. Oh, wait, I just need one more block. Actually, I'm going to move that thing down. I'm going to put you out. We should get that. Um, that's pretty cheap. Yeah, What's up? Micah and Johnny are in the house. Dude, dude, my bicep looks really good on the camera. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I know, dude. It's small as the double. It looks a big fish. <laughs> <laughs> people in the house already what's up Landon hi right, guys so tonight we are doing a fish off with Johnny from we out Chia check out his channel um, and we are here just at the towers here at Lake Murray and um, we got it's that time of year we could catch five John says Michael for president absolutely um, you can catch five fish but after five you got to be done so uh, the rules Johnny we're gonna go till 11 so we got two hours and um, Hopefully we'll be checking out sooner than that because the bite will be good. Um, but we got two hours, five fish, total weight. So that is the, those are the terms of surrender. What's up, Gear Up Survival? So I'm gonna go get rigged up. Johnny's getting rigged up right now. We're gonna throw down, see what happens. So stay tuned. Sorry for the breeze, but a little bit of a little bit of weather out there. We'll have to keep an eye on that. For sure. There we go. Don't drop a live one down like that on one of them.
All right, guys, I missed the donation. Here we go, let's roll back. Heidi says, Mike, you're awesome. Love your live streams. Thank you, Heidi, I appreciate it. Dude, so what do we decide on? We're hanging out with Johnny tonight. Dude, what do we decide on? Uh, so, so loser, uh, our winner gets to slap the loser with the fi uh, f uh, filet, the striper filet. So, yeah, we don't, we don't hopefully be cooking, as long as the breeze stays down. If it, if it stays breezy like this, it's supposed to calm down. Heidi says, hey, Johnny. Hey, Heidi. Um, if, if the breeze doesn't, you know what, dude, I don't know what it is, but out here, it seems like in the evening time, it always does this. Even on like a beautiful day, I swear that breeze always kicks up. So hopefully it'll, hopefully it'll stay down. But dude, you have to keep an eye on that. We got a green light over the side too. So we'll see if any bait starts coming up. I actually brought a small rod that if we wanted to hook like a sabiki rig up to while we're just sneaking around. Get some bait. I don't know if it's going to be warm enough, though. You know, we haven't been having a lot of hot weather, so we'll have to see. We'll have to see if it's warm enough for that. But uh, thanks, Tash. Tash going to be right back. Keep modding for the live stream. Several other, I mean, there are a lot of boats out. How many, how many, what do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six. Like eight or nine other boats out here. So hopefully that means the fish is pretty good. We'll find out. So. We will she. Did you see somebody was complaining about that on like that Facebook group? Oh, yeah, People were like, Lights. you can't have your lights on when you're driving the boat. You can't have, I was like, no, no. Out of all the things I'm worried about, like that's like the last thing I'm worried about on the lake. Like, but that's just me. Loser has to gritty. Johnny, can you do the gritty? Learn today. You're gonna learn today? We're gonna find out today. Right, Johnny, you better stay up, bro. Better stay up. Keep an eye on those rods here. You guys got to help me keep an eye on those. A lot of peeps fishing tonight. Yeah, dude, there are like eight or nine other boats out here right now. So I'm gonna pop you guys up on the tripod a little bit here. You getting bit already, dude? Get out of here. Johnny claims to be getting a bite, but dude's probably just totally BSing me. You guys out on the live? You have live bait, right? Yeah. Fish pond. Poppycock. I'm, dude, I'm down. I've got one at like 24 and I've got one at 36. Okay, okay, yeah. So, hopefully we'll dial it in. Like I said, guys, for those just joining, we have tournament going on right now. Five fish limit. That's actually, you can only catch five striper. They can be any size right now. And, uh, and we'll see the total weight wins. So we will see. Somebody said we match. Oh, we didn't even plan that, bro. Yeah, we totally do. What? Dude, one of us has to change now. I can't be out here like this. <laughs> you got green on, what you got on? Do I got green too? I got low country shirt on. I got a low country shirt. You got army green. <laughs> Johnny's serious when he starts foot stomping. Yeah, dude. I'm surprised. Dude, do you still have that hammer thing? Yes, I I'll use it that much. So Johnny actually sold his boat because he's going to get a bigger one. Dude, how does it feel to be boatless? feel useless. You feel useless? Yeah, you're like trying to bum rides off of people yeah. now. You're like, hey, they people. Yeah, yeah. So Johnny's trying to, uh, uh, Johnny's trying to, what are you trying to get, like, what, what size boat are you looking for? Something about 16 foot, but wider. 16 and wider, yeah, yeah. Even the, like, dude, like, I've seen, like, the, you know, a lot of these drawn boats that are like this, like the 16 foot, but they're like four inches they're like a 50 instead of this is a 54. And that's a huge difference, man. Even just that extra four inches. They have 42, so I think finish enough. Yeah, yeah. So I had a guy tell me that before I even bought a boat. He's like, make sure you get as like a wide, like a wide a body as possible. And uh, that's definitely been like phenomenal, phenomenal uh, advice. Johnny's got the net. Yeah, we do have to help each other net each other's fish. We'll see how that goes. Nah, we're good. We're good sportsmen, I guess. Depends on how the leaderboard's looking. The boss is the net of fish. Dude, I know, right? He's a boat. He was just like, oh, <laughs> Yeah. Where Mark is a fish, dude? Look, look at that, right down there. Look at like 75 feet, some arches start, down there. Start going down. Yeah. Yeah. Fish in the area. Yeah, okay. 
we got a green light out. I'll show you guys the uh, green light in a second. Draco doesn't want to time out tonight. Well, bro, that's all on you, man. You got to act right, bro. You got to be acting right. How's the weather? You know, it's a little breezy. It is a little cloudy. There's only like, there is like a 30% chance of rain. So when I checked the forecast, it looked like everything was kind of going around us. So hopefully that stays the case. Um, obviously, that would be like the one thing that would kill the live stream tonight. Um, is if it starts to like lightning and rain. So, you know, we'll, we'll cut the live stream short if that begins to happen. Otherwise, hopefully, we'll just have a good So, dude, I'm going to rock like the live bait for me about another 10 minutes. But I might get some cut now. Give that a go. Thanks, cat. Appreciate it. What's up, Colton? Colton's doing the intro. Somebody's got to, right? Brad says Johnny's gonna school me. I don't know, he did last time. He and Ace did last time. I'm on, I'm on. Well, this is Johnny's home turf too. Is it hazy here? You know what? It was like a little smoky, but you couldn't smell it. Like you could definitely see it was like well, there was a little bit, but it wasn't like I didn't think it was terrible. What do you think, Johnny? How about that East Coast haze? Yeah, yeah. There's some there's some fire or something going on up in Canada. Yeah, it's not bad here. Johnny Adventure videos. That's copyright. No, he says Johnny. He's good. Yeah, it's a little breezy. In fact, we're kind of like some light right into the breeze right now. So it's supposed to calm down though. Cross your fingers. So. we've been out here we've been out here for 12 minutes so I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna give it to about 20 minutes with this live bait what's up Scott and then I'm gonna switch over to some cut Wild pickles growing on the tower. Nah, they're, they're, it's not cold enough, man. It's not cold enough. Rodney asks, How are the bees? The bees are doing good. You know, my bees refuse to like expand the hive. The queen's in there, she's laying eggs, but they filled out like four and a half of my frames. But it, it's been that way for like five weeks now. I don't know what it is. It is a brand new colony. So it might just be taking them some time to get going. Um, I've asked the questions of the beekeeping groups, and people are like, This can happen. Um, I've even like put extra wax on some of the frames uh, to try to encourage them to draw out comb but uh, they just kind of are like like the queens in there she's laying but it's like they refuse to build more comb so I don't know I don't know I might have to I might have to if, if it doesn't change we also had a cool spring so it's not like they've been like super active but if the summer hits, and let's say by like 4th of July, if, if, if it hasn't changed, I'm gonna have to have to consult with somebody. Because uh, I feel like we definitely should have had more by now, for sure. Like, I should have the bottom frame pretty much filled out, in my opinion, so. Sounds like you need to move, man. Oh, what the 
the bait thing. Dude, I'm gonna try. So you know that new uh, uh, Frost and Frog cooler I got? Yeah. Oh, yeah, they, they make what? Yeah, for the yeast yet? No, no, I got it. I've been using it. But uh, they make like the 75 quart ones as well. And I'm tempted to, to get rid of this one because it still smells like stinky meat. Yeah. Turn that one because that's got more interior space. I can turn that one into my bait tank and then get like a 75 quart one. We'll see. Because that's still this thing still stinks, dude. Like a year and a half later, it still stinks. <laughs> like, and I've had salt water in there. You know, I've cleaned it out. Like I've done everything. I thought after a while, like over time, it would go, but no, it still stinks. What are the chances we hook up on a giant catfish? Dude, they, they hang out suspended down here, so it's definitely a, definitely a possibility for sure. Brian's got money riding on me winning. Yeah, dude, place your bets. Place your bets. Just kind of hoping we catch some fish because this has been, it's been kind of, uh, it's been kind of cheeks on the lake. <laughs> I'm going to give about four more minutes, and I'm going to switch over to cut. Switch over that cut. That's the good stuff. Dude, I got drinks and stuff too. Uh, no, I got water. You want a water? I got water. Oh, you got water? I also got you who actually, I need some of the uh, ice out of there because I need to throw some ice in this cook it, if you would. Oh, dude, and I got candy. You want like some of this? Ever since Johnny brought like all the candy for Ace last time, I was like, well, we got to have candy on the boat. If anything, we may as well uh, get some cavities while we're out here. Eight eight <laughs> I know, dude. I'm just gonna <laughs> my, man, my, my man was working that candy over there. <laughs> I was like, good Lord have mercy. Like, give it a rest, Grandpa. Yeah, please. Dude was even like, you know what? Gonna be it tomorrow. It was his last meal. Dude, we got, we got other food on the boat. Maybe. Sixty. Oh, I like that deeper depth. But I've seen some stuff down there. Right under that fifty mark. Yeah, yeah, right under that fifty. Even in that hair. Yeah, Ace was destroying those gummy worms. That was insane. <laughs> those gummy worms didn't stand a chance. Oh man. Johnny and I on the right over here decided we gotta lose some weight because <laughs> between the two of us in the boat, we reached a top speed of like 12, 13 miles an hour. It was ridiculous. It took us like 20 minutes to get over here and the boat ramps like a mile away. It was like, good grief. It's like, it's either you or me or maybe both. You blame the coolers. Yeah, yeah dude, I do blame the coolers. That one's full of ice, that one's full of water and fish. So. Dang, Colton, that'd be a big catfish. Big catfish are in shallow water. Yeah. That's why those bush hooks, you know, they'll set those bush hooks and you know, it's like three or four feet of water. And they'll get those big old like flatheads and stuff coming up in there. See that one uh, picture with that, that catfish bigger size than the jaw boat? Oh yeah, dude. <laughs> that was crazy. Record, record, record. Someone's thumping the bottom of the boat over there. So far, Johnny had a bite like right when he dropped down. But the tournament's on. The tournament's on. Yeah. Right folds up. That one right there. K9999 donates five dollars. Says love your videos. Thanks, bro. I appreciate it. DIY Dom says, what up, Mike? I'm fellow runescaper, fishing guy. I was more of a mining guy, personally. I don't remember what my, 
I did, though, get to the point where, like, I made bank catching and cooking lobster and selling it um, in, uh, uh, oh, where was it? Anyway, I catch and cook lobster and sell it to all the guys um, heading out into the wilderness. I made big bank doing that, but the mining was more profitable. Got something moving through shallow there, Johnny. Yeah. 15 or 20 feet. That's gonna probably be those smaller ones to be my guess. I know, right? I don't care at this point. Like... So we've hit that time of year for those just tuning in. We've hit that time of year where um you can keep any size striper, but you can only catch five. So per person. Yeah, yeah. Five per person. Five per person, yeah. Thanks, Chip. Appreciate it. The shout out. We watch and wait. Oh, we're at 21 minutes. Dude, I'm going to reel this one up. I'm going to do the cut bait. Give that a try. Oh, wait. I'm, oh, wait. Am I, I'm snagged on this one. Hold on. These rods are too close together. They're snagged together. That's why I separate them. Yeah, yeah. He swam too close here. That's the bad thing about them being hardy though. Yeah. That dude's still alive, man. When did Harry, like, where'd you get these guys? The river. Roots? The river. <laughs> we gotta try fishing that river here, you know. Yeah, I wonder what they use those for. I'm catfish out of the big thing. Oh yeah, dude, you got one down there, Vicky. You do indeed. I'm gonna be right back. Let me cut some later. Edgar Escobar donates five dollars. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Oh, did I miss another one? Oh, Panther donates five dollars. Says thank you for the great videos. Keep up the good work, brother. Thank you, sir. I win. More good work coming up this Friday. Stay tuned.
Uh, I'm gonna, I'm, we're gonna go with some cut. We're gonna, I'm gonna drop some cut back down. That's it, just cut hair. And... Johnny's chilling it up. I'm gonna drop some cut. Johnny, you been getting into anything crazy recently? I don't know. Doing anything crazy? I got you hoops too, by the way. Johnny dyed his hair, y'all. Check this out. Johnny went blonde. Went blonde. <laughs> Dude. I like it. It's, it's, it's not like icy. Not Dude, you uh, you now I kind of I couldn't see it because there's low light when I met him up, but I definitely see it in the blonde, yo. <laughs> it almost has like ice look, bro. You uh. How, what does the little lady think about it? Just told me don't mess with it no more. I'm not gonna bog. She don't mess with it anymore? Yeah, I'm yeah. Don't leave it no more. We're gonna bog. Johnny be bad, Edgar says. Cat likes it. Case and Pay likes it. Different. There you go. Yeah, dude, that was like me with the stash, man. Yeah, you can the stash. I know, dude. <laughs> stash gone. The stash is gone, and my wife is like, thank the heavens. Thank the heavens. She put up with it for five months. <laughs> My beard's like red too. My facial hair. How much hair? How far have you gotten? You um, I've gotten it pretty far, but like I've never gotten like this. But I've gotten it where it's like all full in on my face. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Thanks, Draco. Got to work in the AM. Take it easy. Tash dropping a hammer on people. No, so people help it. The etiquette of the the comments goes thanks Tash. What are we fishing for? I would say striper is the main thing, but we, I've actually caught catfish out here as well. So striper and catfish. Dude, so what? Uh, did you watch my last shark live stream at all? I started, but it was so it was fuzzy. That was the only problem. The spot was phenomenal, but it was grainy. So I actually ended up like after a week, maybe like five days, I took. The, uh, that last live stream down because like I was trying to rewatch it and I was like this is terrible like the audio was good but like it was just it was like 120p you know like, it, it was terrible quality so I know yeah your flip phone would have better quality like I gotta figure out a different spot for the uh, um, I gotta figure out a different spot for the shark fishing because there's a lot of good shark fishing down. Yeah, dude, the signal, there is something about, like, that, people are always like, dude, go, like, move, and I was like, I can't, like, this is, I got, like, three bars here, like, nowhere else, I can't, you know, it, it's so difficult to get good signal at the coast, so, I'm gonna try some other spots, though, especially with the shark fishing, like, you're out in the main channels, so, I'm gonna try, well, we'll see if we can make something else happen on that. Mountains, mountains, by the same way, the signal's bad. Mountains. Yeah, dude, the mountains are terrible, the mountains are terrible, like, like uh, I, I would love to live stream at, like, Joe Cat, now, I might be able to live stream a night at Joe Cassie, like at the dam, fishing for trout. Because apparently at night at Joe Cassie, they do this, but they fish for trout. And they'll drop like 30, 40, 50 feet down, but you're catching like big rainbow trout. But it seems like at the dam at Joe Cassie, I actually had good signal. So I, maybe I'll give that a try sometime. Actually, that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, something different. But that's like, but you know, this is 10 minutes from my house, right? <laughs> Joe Cassie's two and a half hours, so it's like... To go up there just to live stream. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, I'd be like, I'd have definitely have to cane up up there or something like that. So, but it would be pretty cool. I might have to give that a try sometime. Johnny just got done chumming. Yeah, there's definitely something coming through. There's definitely fish down there. That's the third boat I've seen leave. We're probably not going to outlast everybody tonight. Because we do, Johnny's got to work tomorrow. I've actually got to go film another video tomorrow, hopefully, cross my fingers. Um, so I can't be out till 2 in the morning. But uh, we'll 
we'll give it a go. Johnny, you know what we might have to do one of these times is I've seen a lot of people like catching the fish, catching the striper like like in the channels or whatever out there. We might have to do like a daytime thing. Yeah, where we go out and find like 50, 60 feet of water and not at the towers. But the, the tough thing about the daytime, especially this time of year, there's just so many pleasure boaters out, which no problem with that. It's just the lake just gets packed. And so out here, you're just constantly like battling that, but maybe we'll just have to fight it anyway. Yeah, school's out, college out, everything out. Like, it's between the jet skiers, the pontooners, and, and the fishing boats. Like, we definitely have to do it during a weekday. It would be less bad, but it still won't be pretty bad during the weekday. So, Saturday. Dude, Saturday, that, Sunday is crazy. There's no way I'd be out here on Saturday, Sunday. I did that one time. Did, didn't we do that? We rock back and forth all the time. <laughs> didn't we do that when we went shellcracker fishing last year? I think we could. We went out on a Friday or a Saturday. Yeah, I'm like, I had to sit back here, like, hold. The camera and all that. That was fun though, because we got some decent stuff out here. So I'm gonna have to do the. Uh, uh, I gotta get down to the sandy. So there was the full moon last Saturday, but I was like, there's no way I'm going down on the Saturday, like down to the sandy because it was like nice. And I thought that place gonna be packed. Have you ever seen them like the guys fish the full moon down at the sandy, dude? Like even out among, like all the gum trees and stuff, it's just like boat, 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 boat. And I thought, I, I wanted to, but I just got back from the coast filming. And I was like, I can't, like, this is going to be so bad down here if I try to do this. So I ended up not. But I got to get down there and try to get after some big old shell cracker. There's definitely some fish down there, dude. Yeah, yeah. One fish to be Hey, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I feel like any fish on the border right now would be big. It's like, we can't get skunked, bro. Not between the two of us. Between our fishing knowledge, yeah. And no size limit. Yeah, and no size limit. It's like, like, it better not happen. No luck yet. No luck yet. We, um, I want to, dude, there's so many things I want to do. I need to try planer boards. And then I, Dude, I'm almost tempted to see on the corners of my boat right over here. I could set up like downriggers on those. Like I got that corner part. I could drill holes and like put the downriggers on. I, I'm tempted. Like, cause Joe Cassie right now, dude. I saw somebody else pulled out like a 10 plus pound brown at Joe Cassie. They're hammering fish. And that, but they're all like, they're all like running. They have to run the downriggers. Uh, there is something with that. Yeah, I don't remember what it is, but. Uh, not with the brown, it, it, it's like, I think now they could be any size, but you would only keep like Yeah. So, yeah, so I, but that looks like, dude, like loading into a 10 pound brown at like 60 feet of water. That sounds like fun, Tom. Like that sounds legit. Dude, I got snacks too if you need like to trail mix or anything. I'm gonna try some sweet tarts. I haven't ever tried those actually. I'll go for the uh, the nerd gummy clusters, yeah. Oh, that's good. Bill's Mafia is in the house. See what this is all about. I see ads for this all the time. <laughs> oh dang, that's good. I do. That's legit. Most good. The red, yellow Twizzlers fillings. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. I have on those. Strawberry one. Strawberry one. That's delicious. What's up with the what's up with the Raiders, dude? I don't know. Nobody takes my advice. That's the problem. Johnny, you got a favorite fish to fish for? Oh, there's a hit right there. There we go. Come on, So that one's in about 40 to 45 feet right there. That was on the cut. Come on, baby, come back for it. 
I know, yeah, dude. Really. Boy, you used to be picky. Yeah, yeah. yeah like you used to catch a catfish or a small fish. Yeah. I honestly don't have a favorite. Like, everything has its season for me. Like, come like November, all of a sudden I get the itch to go out and grab a fish. I'm like, oh man, let's go hit some docks, let's go hit some bridges. Like, like it's on. Yeah. Um, and then, like, the striper fishing, obviously, as well in the wintertime. It's fun when you go out and there's like busting surface and stuff like that. Um, winter time's awesome down at the coast too for like the, the trout and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. I, I honestly don't have a favorite. I don't have a don't have a favorite uh, favorite type really. Favorite fish is the one that bites. <laughs> yeah, my favorite fish is the next fish I'm going after. I won't get after some big sheep's head this year in the summertime. I won't catch me some big sheep's head. Don't get that with the lottery. I know, dude. So Johnny and I, yeah, Johnny and I put in for our gator hunt tag. So I got one preference point so far this year. Johnny, I picked all four. <laughs> dude, I picked all four too. I was like, I don't care. Like, I, don't, I didn't know which which one. I didn't look before I picked that. Oh, one gotcha. Randomly slick. Obviously, like I went for like I wanted to be more like lower state, right? Like PD. Yeah. <sighs> PD I'm, is. I'm uh, always in the middle. Oh golly, I'm trying to think. Um, where's the PD River? I got somebody in here. PD River, isn't that like, like... Down South Moro. Yeah, it is down South, I thought. I'm trying to think. Now, Somebody tell me where the PD River is. What's it? Mid, 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 mid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, obviously I put in my preference was like, like, like the lowlands, right? But, uh... Do when B start doing something, I'll give you a B update for sure. Gator hunt and B first. Do gator hunt and B. Oh, 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 did I get hit right here? This is a 24 feet, yo. Uh, cut. It's all separate. Like you take it. Come on, baby. Now on the prowl. I don't see like any like schools, just a lot of like sporadic fish it feels like. Come on. Dude, you know what I'm excited for this year? Crabbing. I'm excited to go crabbing again. Crabbing's fun. We uh, as long as this weather stays hot, we'll keep moving in. Crabbing and like, I want to we'll catch those fiddler crabs and go out and try to get some of that shit. Something fun. So you got that you got that little fiddle crab on you going and all of a sudden when those sheep's head bite it's just like it's, it's just light. it, that's it, and it's like and you just see your line's not even like limber, it's just straight down, it's taut, it's and your rod tip just literally when you your rod tip just goes like that. <laughs> it's almost like how crappy you bite in the wintertime sometimes. When it's just like your your jig's moving, it's just like deep. and you're like something's on there, and I think give them a second or two to you know boom. And you either you either like you'll tell it's a sheep's head too, because like It'll either feel like you hit a rock and popped off, and it's like, ah, oh, shoot, that was one, or you'll pop it up and it, then they just go ballistic. So, the way they eat it, they dibble. Yeah, yeah, they I'll just. Watch the video, like, they dibble, dibble off the Come up with those big old horse teeth. And just like, <laughs> yeah. Like, what are you doing? So, yeah, dude, I'm, I'm excited for the coast this year. I'm gonna do more shark fishing too. Like I'm gonna take those uh those drift king rods. I'm, I'm gonna get some like like I'm gonna put like 60 pound braid on there and see what I can do in some of the bigger water. It'll be fun. Do it pier. Yeah, do it for the pier. Do it from the do it from a boat. Just like anchor up. But yeah. Trying to get striped bass. That one just got bumped again, just a little bit. That's cool. Oh yeah, there's a fish. 
I've not caught anything yet. We're getting there. You know what this looks like that fish though? <laughs> this would probably be good for what do they call what do they catch out of the surf? Papano? Yeah. Oh, it's another fish I haven't caught yet, Papano. I've never tried one. Yeah. The breeze is keeping the bugs away. That's good. Keeping the fish away too, apparently. Are there bull sharks in this lake? Rumored to be. Rumored to be. So, look at it. You won't catch me swimming here. Yeah, that's a nice boat right there. That's the same size as my dad's too. You all about that for seventy five thousand dollars. Dude, I came out here one morning. I was we were driving over the dam, and there were about this many people out. There were about eight, nine boats out. I kid you not, two jet skiers come. Oh yeah, yeah, that's good. Like two jet skiers come from all the way over that way. And they just go blasted I, from like way over there. <laughs> and there were boats like scattered all over. And I kid you not, they just go like 50 miles an hour through everybody. And I thought, see, this is why people like like I, the the act the act of jet skiing does not bu bug me at all. But they had the whole lake, and all the boats were piled up out here, and they just came just screaming through everybody. And I was like, see, this is why people don't like you. Like if you just. I mean, and literally the, the entire lake, guys, out behind me, just massive amounts of open water, or, or come out and tootle through. Yeah, some, but, some that's nice is just tootle through yeah, this back Yeah, and, and, and it would have been the same thing if a boat had done that too. With everybody out here, if a boat had come screaming through everybody, I mean, you'd have been getting the bird from everybody. But jets, like these two jet skiers, it's almost like they made a point because they came from all the way over there, Dang. whatever, like Jake's Landing or whatever. And it was like, come on, man. Ridiculous. Got a donation from Sean Marks's to get rid of the Madden curse, Bill's Mafia. Thanks for the donation. Dude, I got bumped on this one. You're fishing on credit? Come on, check this one. Dropping it low, bro. Dude, Tash is like going to town on people right now. <laughs> Holy cow. Tash is like, he doesn't pay me enough to put up with this. <laughs> Dude, there's a bunch of bait moving through now. Look how high that's gone up in the water column, too. That bait's moved up probably 15, 20 feet. How many what? Mods. Oh, we've got at least. People are being rude at F, Tasha. Really? <laughs> well, get him, Tash. <laughs> Tash, I, I give Tash like full control of the uh, of the live stream. We do actually have. Here, let me swing you guys around. We do have a green light out right down there. So the green light is out, rolling, rocking. Johnny's on that side. I'm on this side. It's tournament time. Johnny, though, like, we can, if, if we want a tournament, we have to catch something. Look at that. See, I see, look at all that down there at 50 feet. 
Who's who fish down? How deep are you, dude? Fish down. Six. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. You got cut on either of those? Okay, yeah. Uh -huh. I'm hoping my bait's still on that one, I'm not sure. Yeah, right. What is up with my chat? I feel like my chat thing is going yumpy. I don't know. Whatever. Whatever. Had a few bites. Still waiting. No, still waiting. Uh, dude, you've only worked two days this week then. Nice, nice, nice. It's too quiet. It's too quiet. I haven't been out here yet this year where like the bite is fine. You know, where it's like pretty good at one time. What's it broke at one time? That's right. That was way back in what was that like April, wasn't that? I think so. I think that was in April. Oh, yeah. 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 That's the best that's the best I've done so far. Yeah. So that is just been slow. I w I I I'm wondering I see a lot of people out here like early morning. I wonder if you get out here about like 5 o'clock, 5.30, drop in and try like that early morning thing. I don't mind posting there, they'll catch you in the morning though. Oh really? Yeah. Only the guides. Yeah, those guides though, they're out, you know. Yeah, they're I think, out there. Yeah, they're Especially out there. Especially area out there. Yeah, and I'm wondering like, if this doesn't, if it doesn't happen for us tonight here, I might, we might have to switch up our tactic and yeah, do something where like, we go out and, and start picking up some of those areas out there. This is usually the bread and butter. Like, you, you just come out here and you hit your limit and you have a fun time and you head home. But, like, I don't know, man. Not that's the only thing I can think of, dude. That's the only thing I can think of. It, it's just not... Yeah. Yeah. Dude, when I went down to the coast last week, like, I hardly saw any crabs. It's like June. Yeah, I'm like, what the heck is with that? It's like, first of June. Why... There should be crabs all over the place out here. Yeah. And I, I just think it should be such a cold spring. Like, I think. Put it at 90, 90 degrees. No. Yeah, yeah. I had one guy tell me, he was like, usually when the water hits about 75 and up, and it was like, the water's about 75. And I thought, well, I don't know. But it just was not, it was not shaking for me. So. We'll go for striper. Striper. I'm check that line. Dude, I like those reels you got on there. You're gonna get some of those Drift King reels? Does he not have them yet? No, I Oh, shoot. I thought he had them already. All the green ones are going with the good rods. Yeah, yeah, go with the rod, yeah. He fishing for Oh, dude, he got your bait, bro. You gotta drop that sucker back down. Get your credits down. Dude, look how far. Dude, we ought to start seeing bait around that green light soon, dude. Look how high up that stuff is. Jeez, Louise. That's 50, dude. I'm seeing marks of 50. 
Usually by now you're kind of on like a um, uh, is that like a ticking time bomb? You only have about maybe four or five weeks where this spot is going to be good. This place might be good through like through July. Though. Later on. Sometime. Yeah, yeah. Late in the summer. Yeah, yeah. Right now, it's, it's, it's a little cool. Yeah, Even like now, that. yeah, it's cool out here. Like, it's not like. Usually, right now, I'd be like, oh, there's a plate. Right? Oh, there he is. Oh, cool. Usually, right now, like, I'd be like jumping in the water, you know? And I'm like, during the afternoon, I wouldn't mind jumping in the water. Right, right now? now <laughs> yeah, no way, man. Which is weird for around here, like, by June, early uh, June 7th. Last year, it was in April. Yeah, I know, right? Cool. <laughs> Dude, how do you hit that? You don't just like bust that. It's a live one. No, like both these are bad. <laughs> <laughs> what? Set up your cooler. I know, right? Maybe it's like this official. What's that? I swear I've caught fish, but this video is before, I swear. I am, though. The problem is, it's like that cooler, that set of cooler is like 300 degrees. What happened to my chat, dude? There's like nothing in the chat. Like, I feel like... Yeah, dude, as soon as Col Colt needs to leave, yeah. As soon as he was about to leave, we got a bite. Yeah. <laughs> Scram, Colton. <laughs> I'm teasing, bro. Dude, this could be like one fish might win this tournament. Be helpful. I feel like if that's the case, if like real bad, we will just get slapped with the sweet tart. How about that? <laughs> just do that, and then we'll have to come back out when it gets better and actually do like the. Well, it's nice right now. Dude, it's beautiful right now. The problem is, it's just a fish ain't bite. This is crazy. Yo, know, usually by now, this time of year, it's fire. I wonder if it's just, yeah, it's just too cool on this end of the lake. Like, these fish aren't. Usually what drives all the fish to this end of the lake is so hot. That it's so deep over here that they can get a reprieve from that hot water. But... I wonder if they're still up kind of middle of the lake, like Drear Island area and stuff. You know, a majority of them still. This is crazy. Thanks, catch and release. Sunny out. You didn't bring a banana, did you? Okay. Not today, he said. He ate one for breakfast. I think that is it. So. Do my intro. What is going on, YouTube fam? Welcome back to yet another I adventure video. Dude, there's a lot of finger. <laughs> yeah, I know. Ralph. There's a lot of finger flying around there. Dude just told me. That the fishing in Jamaica has been dead too. No, you haven't. I think it's good there. Huh? Have you ever been to Jamaica? I haven't either. I want to go. One day, yeah. That's like the Bahamas. I don't go to Bahamas.
Dude, there are these things that fly around. Have you seen those at night? They're like the black ants or the red ants. The, the queen ants will fly around and they bite you. Dude, when those things bite you, dude, it's like getting like stung by a bee. Because it hurts for like half an hour afterwards. Around how they fly, they don't do nothing. Dude, the mayflies are just... They're annoying, but... They're, they're annoying because, like, all of a sudden, within, like, an hour, your boat is covered in mayflies. And, dude, okay, so in my last year, in my catfishing video where I camped on the boat and had, like, an insane day of catfishing, um, uh, I literally spent, like, half an hour at night just picking all the mayflies. Oh, there's some bait. I see some bait there. Oh, look at that. There we go. Oh, is it? Oh, maybe that was just jumping on me. But, um... I literally spent like a half an hour just throwing mayflies out of the boat. Yeah, so like, like, well, so you, you could just like, just like cruise fast and then like go on. Instead of like, yeah, I don't know. That's just my opinion. That's what I, you know. So I'm like, everybody's like anchored up or like trying to stay in one spot. And then you're trying to, oh, there's a bite right there. Hold on, baby. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, like, like, why is he not like, usually it's just like when they hit, you know, it's just, bam, 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 bam. yeah, yeah. Like bang, bang! Uh, call Golden State Warrior. Do we not have to take turns on the Sabiki rig? Whoever can catch the most uh, bait, wind. bait wins. Yeah, at the rate we're going, golly. Somebody said, there's a challenge. Try catching fish with a banana. That's actually not terrible. That was bait? Yeah, use the banana as bait. I would, you probably want to use, like, the husk, right? Or if you, like, froze the banana, try to catch a catfish with it. Like, froze it over, like, a... Some, uh, jello. Jello on there. Yeah, banana jello. With slices of banana in it. And you know, now I've, I feel like this has to be done. <laughs> now this year. Oh, did you see that? So the bait has like moved up now. Good yeah, I know, right? Come on. Come on. Jeepers. Get my sabiki rig out. We just dink around. I mean, we don't need more bait. <laughs> we got tons of bait. Dude, that was cool to watch that bait like slowly move up in the water column as that I came. Like, all the way, just like. Yeah, all of a sudden now, like it went from, it was down about like 25, 30 feet of water, and all of a sudden it's just right at the surface. I mean, it's somewhat warm if the bait's hitting the surface, you know? Like, usually that doesn't happen till the summertime, so... We're using cut bait right now. Actually, I'm going to check this one right here. Nobody's dying now. It's not a feeling we might have plenty of bait. Dude, I'm about yeah, oh you know what that's true. Take it over to what what's about watery tomorrow? Yeah. That's true. Oh I didn't think that.
it's cool when um oh there's a bite holy cow Ooh, johnny just got hit right here dude i've i've had the green lights out here and you'll see the striper coming up to him like you'll see the big old like white side of the striper like cruising past like darting after bait it's oh, like yeah. that is cool it's like oh like that little bait the bait is just like i like watching videos of people with the free light at their dock oh yeah you see all the fishes swimming around circles bass and stuff oh yeah dude the green i haven't fished the green lights yet i gotta do that do you almost yeah i bring, did bring snacks i brought a yoohoo you, you want a yoohoo here you shake them shake them up <laughs> no you do you literally have you have you drunk a yoohoo before Open up no, you have to. It says, see, dude, it says shake what shake it right on the front, man. A little bit? No, I, I mean, a little bit, but like it's not like a pop, it ain't gonna bust on you. I want to shake that chocolatey goodness around like this. I'm gonna shake it real good. Listen to that right here. Oh, yeah. If anything, we're going to eat good. I want to see this hack where you mix it up with um, virtual syrup. It tastes just like you. Just a cheaper. Just a... Uh, oh, really? Yeah. Huh. You see that bait down there? See it. A lot of bait. Oh, you see it? Oh. Yeah, you see it. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, dude. Yeah. Where are the fish, bro? Sneaky freak. Somebody wants to know is Tash a cutie? I don't know, bro. We hit her up, man. Oh, did I get a? Oh yeah, yeah. There's a bite. Come on. Got bit over here. All right. Um, yeah, did you shoot your shot with Tash? Um, that's good to know. Somebody said that what buddy went to the Joe Cassie Dam caught two that was barely 15 inches, about six and a half hours. Holy cow! But they went up into the river, loaded up on him. Oh. Wait, what river, bro? What river did you go up and load up on him? Now, inquiring minds want to know. Curious thing. Dude, I thought he hit a few times. It wasn't big, but like, even when I picked it up, it went boom, 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 boom. Is the loser getting fish slapped again? If we put some fish in the boat, sure. But like this tournament is just, dude, this feels like your catfish tournament, right? Now we're getting sweet tart rope slap. Yeah, sweet tart rope slap. What's going to happen? Right, right there. Come on. Jose went Saluda. Load? Wait, you went the lower Saluda and loaded up on Trout? Is that what you're telling me, Jose? Oh, we in the, uh, I haven't fished. Have you fished the Upper Saluda? I haven't fished up. Is... Above Lake Murray. It runs all the way up to wherever that is. I no, I've, I've fished Lower Saluda a little bit. What is it called? Probably lower. This is Lower Saluda. Lower. Yeah. Upper Saluda is what drains into Lake Murray. Oh, I, have. I haven't done the Upper Saluda yet. Did you know that Yuhu is basically flavored water? It's dang good flavored water is what it is. Oh well, yeah, I think that's what it is. Water and Hershey. Yeah. yeah, yeah. See, you thought my little Hershey syrup good. No, you can't replicate that distinct, one-of-a-kind taste yes. of Yuhu. Vanicaeus says the day I'm on Team Mikey doesn't catch fish. Van of the night is young. Get out of here. Gosh, so little faith. 
A little spot I know called Goodwin Bridge. Huh. I never heard of that. Anybody team Johnny tonight? Is Johnny on his own? <laughs> Solo go up. Johnny Ringo. Oh, it's a Marietta? Okay. I've heard of that. Sonny's Team Johnny. There you go. Oh, there's a hit. Look at that. No, no, no. There he goes. There he goes. There he goes. Dude, that was in, that's in oh, about 40 minutes. You got the net? Yeah, buddy. Okay. Fish on. <laughs> that's right here, bro. Come on. Fam. Yeah, it was about 40 feet. 40, 45. Here you go. Mike is on. Mike's going to try to get on the board first here. Come on, baby. Come on. Let's go. I need to get some more light up in this place. He's like running out. Right yeah, she's running out like wide. That's a good sign. That's a good feeling. It was a good one. Yeah, thanks, bruh. Here we go, first fish. First fish. Now, I think it'll be a keeper during the regular season, too, right there. No way. <laughs> Look at that. There we go. Here, we drop a hammer on that thing. There's a good fish. Mike is on the board first. Mike is on the board first. Let's get that pliers out. Woo! Oh, jeez. We choked that thing down. That is a nice fish right there. I need some honey. On my way. I need a, I need a light. Dang, oh. yeah, hey, dude. Bro, it's feisty. I got his tracker finger too, man. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. I don't think I'll be able to get that out. I'll get it out when I cook him up. Hold them up to the. Oh yeah, dude. Yeah, 22. Just, just a hair over 22 inches. So that'd be even a good one during the regular season. Let's weigh them up, though. That's what we got to go by. It's right under your feet here. I'll be grabbing now. Dude, this guy's tasty. Yeah. Here we go, Johnny. Johnny's one step closer to getting slapped with a sweet tart. Oh, no. Um, this is a revenge tour for me from last year. <laughs> yeah, better scale the same scale. Oh, am I getting hit on this one? Unless you put it in. Just put it in. I don't know. I'll put back a lot of this in case. Yeah. Here we go, here we go. Come on. Good with that three nine six. Oh, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Three nine six. Three nine six. We need somebody to keep score at home. <laughs> Team Micah. Team High Adventure videos on the board. Three nine six. Boom. Johnny. Um. I'm gonna throw him on ice right behind you, bro. That's gonna taste good later. Everybody. We out you. What's that? Wait, what are you Johnny. doing over there? Team Johnny. We're going to win this. Don't listen to what he's telling you. <laughs> Don't buy what he's telling you. Thanks, bro. Thanks for netting him up. Appreciate that. 
All right. I'll take the bait on this one. That was about 40 feet. Hold on. Yo, Vanda K already gave up on me, too. <laughs> you already done give up on me. Sonny said, if I remember correctly what happened, you'll start with Johnny and Finn again. <laughs> like the sound of that, Sonny. Such disrespect on my own boat, on my own vessel, too. Let me get. Is that boat still over there? I think I'm good. Let's see if I can find out. Keepers, Mikey, clean up your boat. Oh, I guess I did. You don't see any hitting. Oh, yeah. Turn over to the box. I needed that fish. I needed that fish. I know. <laughs> yeah, everything else has been like, dink, dink, like, uh, I didn't know what I'm doing. That's what you want. That's what you've been waiting for. That's how you put food to bait. Show you how to do it, man. Golly. Like Marion has very good stuff fishing. I've heard that. Dude, I gotta get down to that. Like, I gotta do more like fishing at like Marion. We both haven't fished there. There's that canal that connects the two lakes that is apparently just phenomenal catfishing. We both did that, that elevator. The lock, yeah. The water elevator. There's probably good uh, catfishing and striper fishing in that in that canal. Like both, especially springtime. That's word on the street, anyways. Do, 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 do. Oh, seven pounder. Oh, dude, I just totally tore that thing up. No, yeah, I just tore the knot up. I'm an imbecile. Striper's better up in the river. Get bigger up in the river, I know that. You don't need a bigger boat in the river. Actually, you know what? The Saluda, what we've got till June 15th before you can't keep anything in the Saluda. I might next week, because it's supposed to be like a little bit of on and off thunderstorms, I might take the kayak down there next week. Shoot, even the boat, because I can get all the way up to like right down here in the boat. We're going to go with a kayak. That'd be fun. That'd be epic. Dude, I might do that next week. I'd have to give that a try. Just see, see what there is to see. Give it a go. I usually do go, go against current first and then just ride that down or go with the current. I see guys will like anchor up even. Like guys will just anchor up. I know guys do go up and just like drift down. Yeah. yeah. They'll be tired. They yeah. Just want to flow with the water. Flow with the flow. Only had like one day ever. There's so much bait down there. Yeah, great. I know, dude. You could have that. Um, 
I had like one day last year where I like the Alabama rig thing was just fine. That was cool. Just cast the tree or did you control it? Uh, both. I was doing both. And it was like, I was up by Black's Bridge and yeah. nobody was out and they were schooling. And I was sitting up there just absolutely like as fast as I could get my line back in the water. Yeah, that was fun. Yes, sir. Love the videos, you should do more 24 hour challenges. Oh dude, so I actually just came up with a really sweet, I didn't come up with it, but I have this sweet idea for um for fishing a 24 or 48 hour fishing challenge i can't tell you yet but it's epic um i'll tell you johnny later remind me <laughs> but uh i actually just got all this stuff in to do it uh, but yeah there'll definitely be some more of those i'm trying to take a break a little bit because like for like the last like four months like every video i've published pretty much has been like camping videos and it's just quite heavy work it's just a lot to do um and so i'm trying to just like take a break and maybe just do like some day type trips a little easier on me a little easier on the family not being gone 24 hours or 48 hours and uh but there'll definitely be some more like 24 hour videos coming up and stuff like that guys you can't see it but right oh, but oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Holy dude that's that's what Dang it, dude. Yeah. I just heard it turn around. I didn't even like, yeah. They'd have seen it. Y'all would have seen that. Right? I think that's the depth, dude. Four feet. I'm going to drop this one right there. <laughs> I got I get distracted easily. I get distracted it's real easily. I don't know if they got big. I don't know if they really want me. Oh, I was saying, yeah, you you guys can't see it from the from the green light, but I got a green light down there, and there's just absolute just balls of bait down there, just absolute just just a nut, ridiculous amounts of bait swimming around out there by the green light. Hey, Sunny demands answers. She says, maybe it's a he. I don't know. It says, what depth are you fishing at, Johnny? Fifty. Fifty. John is it feeding? Rip its lips off! Rip its lips and twist it! Twist those lips! <laughs> asked me what are my thoughts on Tom Brady owning the Raiders um, somebody got poor Tony's Tony you know Tash has an Instagram you could just go hit her up man dude wants me to do a catch and cook with her wink wink you know Tash is well loved in the high adventure video Anyway, yo, Chris. 
Tash is down. <laughs> of course you are, Tash. Um, dude, I don't mind Tom Brady coming in and joining the Raiders organization. We need somebody who knows how to win around here. Gosh. Dude, we haven't won a dang thing in 20-plus years. I don't trust Jimmy Garoppolo. <laughs> Dude's got a freaking... He had the team. They still can't do nothing with it. Well, he's got, he's got that, what's that, that foot surgery. He's got that Liz, Liz, Linz and Frank, well, Lizzie Frank. I don't know what the heck, dude. It's like, I was called the Lizzie Frank surgery, man. Dude might not play a dang down. They actually have it in his contract that if, if he gets hurt and it's any way related to the foot surgery that he just had done, they can cut it. They can just be done with them. They'll pay him for this year, but they don't owe him for the other three years. So, I mean, that tells you how much. It's ridiculous. I could run this team better. I love my team. Don't get me wrong. I love the Raiders. But I could run this organization better. So we got that big old, we got that big old quarterback from Purdue. What's his bucket? I don't know. Maybe that'll be our Brock Purdy. Sonny says, Johnny, try 40 feet. Sonny's got money riding on this or something right now. Sonny's like sweating. Sonny's over here. Sonny's that meme. The guy likes sweating. I got you, Sonny. I got you. Go for big fish, Sonny. Dude, that, dude, that bait. Dude, I almost, I wish I had a cast in me. I wish I had a cast. That'd be epic. What? Dude, just came up and bit your line, dude. <laughs> I almost want to, like, Sabiki rig it up, but like we've got tons of bait. So it kind of like we've already Just, got like four rods out. Let's see how big they are. I know, right? <laughs> Dude, maybe we should. I do need bait for tomorrow. There you go. Stock up. It's free. Dude, if you want, you feel free to, to drop. I'm you can if you want to rig that up. I've got a Sabiki. I'll give you the Sabiki rig. It's right here. Might as well. Maybe these uh if I catch herrings, I can add up. You'll to start it. adding them up. Right? <laughs> so like there's a limit on herrings. I think I do some fish bites when I'm busy. I know, right? Pie. There you go. There's the sabiki. I've still got it wrapped up on there. I'm gonna put Johnny to work. There are no free boat days on the SSI picture. <laughs> no <laughs> days off! Johnny, you thought you were just gonna come out here and cruise around. Johnny was like, oh, what's that? Get some fish. I want to have him scrubbing the boat after this. <laughs> Dude, I do have to come to the Outer Banks. Tash says, you wish you could react to people. Dude, I feel like YouTube's got to come up to, with that at some point. Like a reaction, like like any other comments. Because even, even just like in regular comments, like on videos, all you can do is like thumbs up or thumbs down. Jared donates two dollars. It's time I could take me fishing with daughter. Oh, can can take me fishing with daughter in Pennsylvania, dude. I don't live in Pennsylvania. Jose says just throw a cast net. I don't have a cast net, Jose. I'm sorry. I don't. That's why. That's why I brought Johnny. He's the cast net. And a, I just happened to bring a sabiki rig and Johnny. Like, oh yeah, Johnny. I want to drop them there and get some bait. I gotta go fish tomorrow. I'll pay you like fifty cents a fifty cents out here. Do you, know, you just start like pulling them up like multiple at a time? Like, dang it! Fifty bucks later. <laughs> Can I get a shout out, please, Isaiah? What's up, Isaiah? Let's be happy we have a net and no lights in the water yet. Very true. Very true, Tash. Truer words had not been spoken. Yeah, I don't feel the need to move. I feel like this is a good spot to like, Unless you concur. Jose says, go Johnny! There you go. Somebody said, jump in the water and hold your shirt open to catch him. That sounds like a good way to catch pneumonia right now. Dude, it is like, it's it's nice right now, it's pleasant, but it ain't warm. 
it ain't swimming. I'm not like, you know what? I want set the hook like that epic catfishing hook set I did. I think that was last year. I ain't doing any shenanigans like that right now. I ain't warm enough. Mike, uh, Sabrina asked how long Mih has a post anything. Mih has been busy. He's been doing a lot of. So my dad does real estate investing, and uh, he's been busy with a lot of stuff like that. So he just hasn't. Um, they've been traveling a lot too. So he just hasn't published anything recently. I think that's like the best. Uh, uh, that's kind of been what's going on. You like the necklace? My very controversial necklace. Yes. That opened a whole can of worms in the last live stream. We went down several rabbit holes. Um, but you can get the necklace. You can go into the description of my videos and get the necklace if you want. There's a link to it. Also, you can go and get, like, the... I make, like, shirts and stuff, like the High Adventure Video shirts. If you want one of those? Right below, you'll see, like, a sidebar thing with... Uh, with where you can go get different types of High Adventure Video merchandise. So... Go hook yourself up, man. Stephanie says, let me get that hat. Oh, isn't that cool? Isn't that hat cool? Snagging a, what you call it? You like your t-shirt, Tash, and you need more? Awesome. What's up, Tisha? Bye, Tisha. Tisha, are you babysitting tonight? You got, pe you got little people you watching? Jose, Jose said black hole. That's right, dude. A Raider black hole. Poor Jose. I had Jose like, Jose was sweating bullets over there. Jose was like, trying to be like my PR man. And Jose's just, poor Jose. I feel kind of bad for him. He was like, please, Michael, for the love of all that's holy, do something. Say something else. Get on another topic. Just a, I'm a PR nightmare. Because I just kind of say whatever. I don't care. I've got, like, I, I I don't really care too much about what other people think. That's probably my problem. So, it, uh, I just probably get in trouble that way sometimes. But I really don't care. So, I see a lot of probably politically incorrect things. But, oh well. We've kept it good so far tonight. Jose's kept me in line. Jose's like texting furiously over there. It's like, got a direct line to high adventure videos. Do you see that little guy right there? Just like chilling out. Yes, it is a normal chat. You gotta try to keep it normal. If I could keep Johnny in line over here, we'll keep it normal. You know what I would do, dude, is I would, like, throw it out, and as it would, like, kind of slowly swing toward the boat, it seems like they'd bite it that way. I mean, I don't know. You can do what you want. You can feel free to come over here, too, if you want to drop it down. Yeah, I got to watch out for Johnny. Johnny's a madman. Somebody says Johnny hair looks cool. There you go, Johnny. I like this. I like it, bro. Dude, they coming up. They want that sabiki rig, bro. They want the sabiki. Dude, look at all that fish, dude. There's like tons of bait. You getting bit at all? I feel like. Usually they'll come up and strike it pretty good. Like it'll be boom. With those sound effects, too. Boom, boom. <laughs> How many we caught so far? We caught one. <laughs> Marco says, put some bake on the sabuki. Marco's very demanding. The way I read that, it sounds very demanding anyway. You liked the the Garhead Spear? I was told you could use, like, like Harry. That's what I was told. 
bit. You got one. He got one. Look at that. Dude, dude, check it out. Look at that, guys. Johnny's hit it. Dude, weigh him up. Weigh him up. Go. Let's go. Dude, we're putting fish in the boat now. That's two. That's two fish in the boat. Look at that. Dang, son. Hey, watch out. Treat the fish with respect. Did you wet your hands before you touch that hairy? What are you doing sniffing it? Are you going to smoke I it later? Need, What's I going on? Bait. John's going to throw it on right now. Marco says Johnny's on the board. Where, did you almost go flying in? Well, you better get that sucker on a, on a dang uh, ASA and P. He's still alive? Dude, chum him up. How? What's into that? You got a good batch of herring, yo. You got a real good batch of herring. Yeah, dude, while you're doing that, give me that dang thing. Give me that sippy. <laughs> All right, while Johnny's rigging his fish up, I'm going to catch me one. Uh, uh, I'm just a little sabiki rig. Hey, I'm just a little sabiki rig. Just swimming around down there. Buzz, buzz, buzz. I'm just a little old mosquito. Garden's looking really good, if I do say so myself. Actually, it could use a little water. What is your favorite song? Oh, dude, you know what? I don't really have a favorite song, but go check out. If you want a good song, people always ask me all the time, like, what kind of songs do you listen to? Um, go check out Pierce the Veil came out with a new album this year. Go check out the song Death of an Executioner. Phenomenal song. Phenomenal song. Look at that bait. So casting out there, you have Dude, a cast that you get like, like 20 dozen. Yeah, I know, wouldn't you? <laughs> I don't really miss stur sturgeon <coughs> fishing now. Oh, there's a bite right there. He's on. Got it. Oh, dude, I'm missing. Dude, what the? Who set my drag this way? Johnny, you sabotage, bro? Okay. Golly. I'm over here. Hey, you take my sabiki. You just came over and commandeered the sabiki rig. What are you, like, freaking fishing game over here? <laughs> Golly. Dude, I got Pillaged. I got plundered and pilfered. Oh, there's one right there. Look at that. Come on. 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 Anyway, go listen to the song, Death of an Executioner, Pierce the Veil, latest album, great stuff. That'll give you a flavor of my kind of flavor of music. Dude's got it, see, see, that, that was my, that was my fish right there. Dude, you hooked him. Johnny just caught another one. Johnny's putting on a clinic over here. Dude, keep those fish, yo. I got a catfish tomorrow. <laughs> Dang it, dang it. 
I knew it. I feel like Michael's gone. I knew it. I knew it. Hey, so you just caught this one. Are you using him at all? Do you mind if I cut him up? Yes. Thanks, fresh, Johnny. Fresh bacon. That's, that doesn't get any fresher. Head. Boom. Head off. Boom. Heads out. Try coming down here and chumming some of this. Oh, jeez, my bad. Teamwork makes the dream work. It's you, bro. Oh, God. Take a kid fishing, he said. Oh, there's a hit right there. Look at that. Got it. There he is. Fish on. Oh, yeah, baby. Pop that. Pop that. Come on. Dude, it's a pig. Mike's going to try to expand the lead here. Johnny's like standing behind me ominously with the net. I feel a little threatened, actually. <laughs> beat me over the head. <laughs> Just topple my crumpled corpse into the water. That's not nice big. It ain't a monster. Oh, bro. <laughs> what kind of net job was that? Come on. Come on, bro. That was suspect. That was real suspect. Thanks, dude. <laughs> there we go. That would probably be too short. Let's see. There you go. There's another nice fish. There's another nice one. Let's go. It's not how you started the race, it's how you finish it. Oh, well, you keep telling yourself that, bro. I'm out for revenge. This is Johnny's revenge right here. Oh. Big time yet. I start being a real fisherman now. <laughs> Johnny's like, I'll just let you get comfortable, yo. Look at that. Oh, Mike is on. Mike is on over here. Let's go. Let's go. I gotta get my other fish out of the net. Start like swimming out wide. That's when you know you got a wide body on. There she is. Oh, that's a pig. Where's the pig? Let's see. I got you. I got you. Look at that. Boom. Oh, damn, son. Girl, that thing's 
Something's got his shoulders on him. Wayne's got fish on the deck. That's like 22, 23 inches. <laughs> oh, look at that hook right in the corner right there. Got my rusty pliers. Look at that fish right there. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that fresh bait I caught. Boom! Dude, that was on the fresh bait. That was the fresh bait Johnny caught. Hammer that fish. fish. <laughs> Johnny's like, give me back my fish. I'm gonna measure it up here first. Look at that. 23. Yeah, that's right. Twenty-three. New biggest one of the night, that's 23 inches. 23 inches, we gotta weigh her up. Actually, let's see if I get this other hook out first. Wait out for a What's that? I'm going to wait that other one. He's still right over here. Woo! The hook is right there. Why can't I grab it? There we go. Why is Rusty McGee? Let me see. I don't think, I don't think this one would be a keeper in the normal season. Let's see. Well, that would be a frustrating one right there. That's just that's just a 20 incher. That's what we put in the boat. Johnny's got some major making up to do. <laughs> got some major making up to do. We're starting to put it in. That's awesome. Let's weigh him up. Dude, this is payback. This is payback Damn. last year for getting that fillet across the face. Big old payback. Here we go. Oh, I got it. This one. This has got to be over four. Now. I don't know. It's three. Oh, what, what did I have? Three. Oh, okay. Dang it! <laughs> what did I have? Somebody tell me what I had on the last one. Three nine something. Was it three nine six or three eight six? Four six two, Johnny. You see that? Four six two. Dude, there's so much bait. It just says it's two feet deep. <laughs> Four six two. Was that four plus three? Was that? I got over eight now. <laughs> four six two. Was it three eight six? I, think so. I want to say three eight six and four. I need, dude, you need to start writing this down on the phone or something like that. Four, Somebody three. needs to be keeping. Do we have who was that Vinny that kept school the last time or something like that? And then we've got our third one though. Gonna add a little bonus weight. Why did it turn off? That's what you get for buying an Amazon dad ratio. It's just on. What's the first one? Uh, 386, I think we decided on. And that's the second one. And then 462. 462? Yes, sir. Maybe if I get my scale to turn oh, back on. Man. Do we have AAA batteries anywhere? I think we have the AAA Dude, oh wait, no, it's back on. Come on. Oh wait, no! What? What's on? Challenge canceling. It's going to work. I know. 
<laughs> don't count. Can't read it. Oh, you don't have to add up. No, that's fine. That's fine. All right, bro. I'm going to throw these in the cooler behind you really quickly. Did you get another one, Sabiki? I he's putting in Sabiki. Micah, did you find a cure for your pot problem? Uh, so far, I have not. I've been in therapy mostly. What you know, what'll cure your pot problem is when you have to spend eight grand on a new HVAC system. That'll cure any uh, any problems you have with buying pots and flowers. That's for sure. That's what I just got done doing this week, dude. Last week, my AC went out upstairs. Dude, it's hot. Hotter than That's what a beds are too. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, everybody sleeps upstairs here, so it's hotter than a goat's butt in a pepper patch. So we uh I get it's like to fix it, it was like fourteen hundred. Because the coils are bad. Well the coils have already gone bad once. The system's twelve years old. Coils about hundred bucks. Not all the coils coils. What's uh, the, oh it's a condenser? The little can's a condenser. Yeah, I think that's yeah. But anyway, it's like fourteen hundred. And because uh, they were freezing up, oh, yeah. and it was like an ice block in there, apparently. And uh, oh, and the, and my unit's 12 going on 13 years old, and uh, they got and they've already, they went bad two years ago, right before we moved in. They had gone bad and gone replaced then, too. So it was like you could just, um, oh, dude, I saw that sucker hit, dude, that was a big one, good <laughs> grief. Um, so it was like you could replace it. Or, or you could repair it for fourteen hundred, or replace it for like seventy eight hundred. And I was like, 
I don't know, I just bit the bullet and replaced the whole thing. Because it was already, like I said, it was already over 12 years old. Yeah, yeah, I was like, eh. So. Two feet, one in a cafe. I know, yeah. Johnny's fishing in two feet. Dude, I want to try that sabiki. Give me a try. Johnny's like master of the sabiki rig over here. I want to, I want to try to catch a sabiki. Really? You can feel your little light bite. Once you stack it up, it just picks it up. This is Japanese, isn't it? I'm not asking you because you're Asian. John is like, oh, sure. Sure. No, I think somebody told this is a Japanese rig. Tabiki rig. This is what Johnny's hammering fish on right now. You just loading the boat, really. Somebody said yes, it's Japanese. Oh, there's one. Oh, I got one. Look at that. <laughs> what? Dude, it barely even got down there. What? Holy cow. Kind of foul hook, but actually. Come on, get pretty good. Drop it down. Hurry. You got to get down there, dude, before the school moves through. Not, not the hairy school. Yeah. I just got bit again. Johnny's going to hook like a 14 pounder or something. It's going to be ridiculous. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm done. Yeah, that was it. There you go. Oh, dude. Dude, you just took me for everything I was worth. I actually just got hammered by a herring. With that, if you believe it. What's the big fish for this? A herring? The big fish, dude, I think they're either the, 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 the shad or they're. Uh, I've actually caught one and it's white with a perch. Perch Yeah. Like, what are you doing up here? There's one. Got it. Ha! Ah. Oh, look, see, I foul hooked that one too. That's two for me. That's two for me. Oh, there's one right there. There's one. I'm going to leave it down there for a second. <coughs> Dude, I could just sit here and catch <laughs> I think it's just because there's just so much bait right under us. It's just marking all the bait. I can try turning it on and off though. Slide on into the creek. Guys, I just got hit on this one again. About 36 to 40. Either that got bit or I accidentally hit it. Boat sounds annoying over there, doesn't it? Yeah. Just sounds absolutely annoying. Son, go to sleep. The daughter, go to sleep. It's a bad time. Just there's no there's no law in order. Oh, I thought I had one and just hooked on the boat, like a Daryl. that bite. I felt them come up and pop that. What size is my boat? I got a 16 foot boat. 16 foot. 
Express DBX, I think it's 54 inches long or wide. Oh, there's, oh, geez, Louise. Okay. Feisty. Dude, they feisty, feisty. They like it when you pop it. <coughs> Gets them all excited. the bottom one. <laughs> this is so cool! I think I put that one like suspiciously. Here's what we're catching. A little hearing. Another one. In the words of DJ Cal. Bro, why are your, your poles getting bent over there? Yeah. Light. What in the? <laughs> what, what the deuce? Oh, there's one. Oh, jeez, Louise. Oh, let me tell you. What, oh, what? Oh, there's yours. Oh, there's your rock. Oh, Johnny getting hit. Oh, he's on there, dude. Johnny on. Get him. You got him. Oh yeah. Oh, Schnikes. Oh, Schnikes. Johnny's popped a piggy. Johnny's popped a piggy. Here we go. Team Johnny's rejoicing right now. <laughs> and I'm the net man. <laughs> come on. Actually, I'm going to point this down at the water so people can see it come up. Oh, oh, dude. Let me tell you a tale of ships and whales. Come on. Bring them up in the green light. You need it, bruh. Oh, don't even pretend we got the stud. My clicker ain't sound good. I think I'm getting bit over there unless you're fishing. Thank you. Your fish run into my line over there? Either that or I'm getting hit. Oh, dude, your fish getting me all tangled up, bro. They come up. Come on. Come on, fishy. Fishy, fishy, fishy. Oh, okay. Dude, he ran all the way up to my line just to screw me up. Woo! He didn't like that. Dude, how deep were you down there, yo? That's a whale. Get him over here, bro. I got the net. Right there. Right there. Oh, come on. Bring it. Yes, nice. Oh, dude, that's a nice, that's a fat one. That's a fatty. Johnny on the board. Johnny on the board. Johnny's starting his comeback now. Yeah. Starting to come back. Woo, Johnny. Show the masses, bro. Oh, yeah, dude. Nice fish. Nice fish. Nice, dude. Here we go. Nice net job. Well, thanks, bro. I pride myself in my net jobs. I do good net jobs. Oh, here. Let me get the, the scale right over here. Let's see if it'll turn on for us. There you go. Clamp it on the bottom or the top? Clamp it on the bottom lip, yeah. What's he doing? Dude, that's a keeper during the right. Yeah, like where you'd poke the. Yeah, right there, bro. Oh, shnikes! Dude, the whole thing just break? Oh, no! <laughs> Dude, we might have to go for length now. Oh, no, I think the whole. The bottom part just came out. Oh, no! Missing. The screw came out. The bolt! Dude, what? 
Oh no! It just like this bolt goes in. I don't think I can weigh it, dude. Oh no! The, the whole <laughs> thing just came out of the bottom. We bought this phone. Dude, I bought it from. It's a, <laughs> it's a Rapala one. The whole thing, dude. We might have to go for lane. We might have to switch it up and just start doing lane. Yeah. Because the whole by scale, just like the 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 little, I've got the little nut right here. Oh, oh Jesus! Holy cow! That's twenty-one here. That's a twenty-one. Maybe we'll just go for length then. So I had a twenty-three. A 20 and a 21. Hey, we got another fish on the board here. We're working it. It's a good one right there. Come on. Can't lose that one. I'm trying to keep him out of the trolling mode, dude. I might, I might be in more line. I'm in more line just heads up. Don't think you got it, dude. I got fish. Yeah. Dude, one more. I'm out for the night. Here she blows. There we go. Look at that. Of course. Yes. That's a solid fish right there. Alright, so we'll go we'll go length then. Oh. Look at a stud fish, man. Oh, look at that. Let's go. That's another nice striper. That's an awesome fish. Good fight. Boom. One more and then I gotta be done. One more, the Micah gets his five. Calls it a night. Oh, geez, geez. It's a big old male. <laughs> He's making a mess in the boat. We'll just leave it at that. All right, so we're switching the tournament up since the scale broke. Um, we're going total length, total length of all the fish. Those are the new rules. It's kind of what we have. That one's 21, uh, right at 22, that's a 22. Yeah, another. Another 22 inches, so that's gonna be around four pounds. 22 inch striper, beautiful, beautiful fish. It's fun, it's fun to get them even when they're not, uh, like this time of year you can keep any size, but you're still getting them in that size where like, they gotta be 21 or bigger. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's, meant, it's just the way it's, it's the side. The nut has to be, so I've got to take the whole back side off. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to have to, or what I might do is I might take the back side off, put that nut in to super glue it so it can't come unscrewed anymore. Because I think that's just what happened. It's just coming unscrewed. So I'll try to save that little piece. I've got all the parts in there. Mm. Just the two better. Yeah, yeah, it's just that, because that just, yeah, that nut just screws right on top yeah i think that's what i'll do is i'll just put super glue on it so it won't come out gosh that's aggravating i don't do i actually have to get i have to get that fixed because i'm going catfishing tomorrow oh yeah yeah i want to catch a pv yeah dude yeah like catch like a 50 60 pound catfish and it's like oh we don't know good thing uh my stores and my base store is selling too yeah yeah walmart or something I might get one of those, what, don't they have those, what is it, those bubble wave boards or whatever? Yeah. I'll have to try one of those. Don't, don't they use those in uh, the, uh, is that, isn't that in the, the MLF? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mike gets one more, let's make it a doozy. Let's make it a piggy of the deep. Dude, that, for such a slow start, all of a sudden that bite goes back up. Can these fish finder? We can't see. We can't see the fish I know, finder. I won't get past the. Three, three more. Oh, yeah. Guys, so we can't use our fish finder 
because there's so much bait below us, it just reads it at three and a half feet deep. Now, actually, I could probably do the sensitivity or something like that. I just got this line down and this one just went popping. He said, let's get it popping. Dude, you want to kind of catch you're gonna want to catch this next video because I dropped some bars to begin. <laughs> I dropped some I in the new video on Friday, I dropped some heavy bars to begin the video. Kind of bars, like signal bars? <laughs> I might have pilfered the bars from somebody else, potentially. It's a real possibility. But if you wanted to hear me rap, I had I came up with my own lyrics though. That's gotta count for something. Oh dude, I just totally just I'll put like a little weight on the end. Come on. Micah gets one more fish. <laughs> so I got a 20. Or was that an 18? You gotta go back. You gotta go back and shop that. Yeah, no, I got a 20, a 23, and two 22. Yeah. Good 44. 60, 67. I got 87 inches of fish. That's a lot of inches. Do more crappy fishing on the live streams. Dude, people are hammering crappy right now on Lake Murray. Have you seen that? Yeah, I saw that. It's what, like, what the what? I think that might be on brush. Brush yeah, they'll be on brush piles. I gotta go fish my brush piles, dude. But I drop mine a lot deeper than that. Like, my brush piles are in the wait for that, for that summer. You, you yeah, know. my brush piles on like 30 feet of water. I think everybody's catching them in like 15. Yeah. If I get bucket full. Yeah, I mean, they're literally, they're like, I caught, like, I caught my limit and threw that many back. I'm like, what? <laughs> I might have to check the bait on that long line. No, stay on this side of the boat. <laughs> stay on this side of the boat. I need to catch more shark. Dude, I do. I saw somebody caught a hammerhead the other day off of one of our beaches. It wasn't that big. I heard another guy that was talking about, he said, you will, you can catch fish. Come on, baby. Just eat it. They said, you can catch big hammerheads off our beaches. Oh, oh. oh, that one moved. That one moved. So, it might be a... Uh... Come on. You can catch hammerheads off our beach, though. I know that. Hammerheads, you can catch bulls. There was a, they had even marked one time. There was a, a great white that swam through where I go shrimping. It, it swam, swam through that area like five, six years ago because they had like tagged it. Yeah, so he like pinged in that. He was in there for like two or three days in that, in that sound. Oh, uh, that's cool. Scary, but cool. Good catch. That'd be an epic catch. 
such a great white. Wouldn't that be epic? I don't know. I don't have this stuff to get a great white in, but... Uh-oh. You feel rain? Either that or a bird just dropped into it. Oh, holy cow! Just, dude, these little, these little herring just like absolutely murder this thing. <laughs> I don't know, my this herring is splashing my legs, so I don't know. Oh, I felt something there, yeah. Yeah, thirty percent. Thirty percent chance of rain. There's a little bit of rain starting to, starting to, come down. Next time what the challenge has to be is we have to catch our own bait each and then rig up and get down there. That actually be kind of cool. That might, maybe that's what we do next. Next time. Catch all the bait. <laughs> oh, dude, yeah, I don't have any bait on that. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna jig for my own bait. I ran out of bait on that rod. Oh, there's one. Oh, shoot. Catching fresh bait here. As long as the rain doesn't get too heavy. Come on, fishy. Just one. Come on. All right. Got my bait. Got my bait. Fresh bait right there. That's what's going to catch a, a horny toad on right there. got this all fouled up. Whatever, just leave it. Throw it over for now. Here we go. Here's the chum from that fish. Look at that. That herring was alive like literally like 60 seconds ago. <laughs> that bright flash right there. All right, let's see what happens. Wait for it. You caught a crappy today and it's in your fridge? Nice, nice. That sounds awesome. I caught a crappy in a little bit. Dude, the crappy fish wasn't that great this winter. Notice that? Yeah. It's cheeks, because the water was down so low. Striper fishing for me this winter was good for like exactly like four days. Four days that yeah, that was it. What's up, Isaiah? Hello. Dude, you want to know an overrated band? 21 Pilots. Overrated. I'm sorry. They, like, I know they're like super popular, but overrated. 
And I just, they all sound the same to me. Like, I think, honestly, dude, I mean, this might ruffle some feathers, but, like, I think Taylor Swift is super overrated. There's, there's nothing unique about her voice, in my okay. opinion. She sounds like any other female artist out there. Like, it's not like she has anything, like, like, uh, old Billy Joel or whatever her name is. Like, she's, like, super, like, depressed and, like, she's got all that, you know, like, somber, like, makes you want to go black in your eyes music. Yeah, back to playing role, basically. Yeah, but, like, Taylor Swift, she just sounds like every basic girl that could sing to me. And I think it's it's got to just be the lyrics, right? It's got to just be, like, but I, I just, I don't understand the hype around Taylor Swift. We got a buddy who likes Taylor Swift. Like, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. It's like, I don't... It, I'm not like, wow, I could see why. I'm like, okay. What's that? Great, I don't feel it. Yeah, it is. <laughs> like big drops coming out. Oh, I don't feel it. I don't feel already, bro. Are you me some? I know, right? <laughs> it's all around us. It's raining all around us, but not on the boat. <laughs> I'm catching those fish right before they're hitting this. Before this, I don't even think it's a cold front though. Moving in, it is. It's just rain. It's just rain over my. Who's winning? I'm winning by like. 60 some odd inches. The scale broke. So that's kind of like thrown everything into a tailspin here. Kind of going a little bit. Oh, there's one. Jeez, the leaves. I, I can only actually catch one more, then I gotta be done. Let's see if Micah gets one last fish. Just to cut, just get his sharper than Then I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna be like, that's it, we're done. <laughs> Micah wins! There's got, you know, next time we do this, there should, be, there should be two things. Who can catch their five the fastest, and then the most weight, because I'll actually have a working <laughs> scale next time. Yeah. I'm certified. Yeah, so there'll be like two two different. So like, you might get meat slapped twice if you catch five, and they're all more than the other guys. Both cheese. <laughs> you get like doubled on like. Tsh, tsh. I looked at my range. I guess yeah. I don't need that. It's I know, like, dude. It says no range. Well, then I saw it was like I saw the clouds and I thought, eh. my but then yeah, I was like, I don't think so. And of course, of course, yeah, whatever. it's raining here right now, currently, ladies and gentlemen. It's not heavy, and there's no lightning. Knock on the like, watch all of a sudden, boom, my <laughs> kids, it's just gonna get lit up. Like, well, that's time to go. <laughs> Quick, hide under a tree. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Terrence? For those of you just joining in, I am joined by Johnny. We out Chia. Check out his channel, We Out Chia. We're doing a fish off, but my scale broke. I'm winning four to one, but um, the fish was slow. We didn't catch anything. Like, what, first, like, hour and 15 minutes we were out here. Then all of a sudden, it's, like, really picked up. It is, like, that, like what's been happening over, like, the last, like, 40 minutes is what you normally, like when you come out and it's like, oh, okay, oh, there's another one, oh, there's another one. It's like, that's that's usually how it's supposed to go. But just a little slow start. I'm catching bait for tomorrow's video. Dude, you wanna try your hand at the Zabiki at all or are you just chill? Relaxing. Nice to be out. This dude's gonna lose his eye. Oops. Oh, never mind. He lost his eye already. The eye is in the act of Gonzo's already. Oh, what the? Watch you get 
And there's currently loads of bait below us. Just just piles of it. Just mammoth amounts of bait. What's tomorrow's video? I can't tell you what I'm doing tomorrow. Actually, I'll tell you. I'm catfishing. Um, <laughs> But Friday, I'll have a new video out on the channel. So be on the lookout. As long as everything goes well, you know, I don't run into any editing issues or anything. Friday should be a new video. But, uh, oh, oh, there it is. Come on. Come on, baby. I knocked over my Yoo-Hoo. <coughs> that mic is fifth and final. Supposed to be. I'd say the carcass is for for uh, crabbing, but I haven't been getting any crabs recently. I actually need to buy a small freezer. Blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. All year been mixed up. This whole year is just been... Oh, there he is. Come on. There he is. Come on. <laughs> Wait for it. Assume the press is shiny. And then you jerk from the backs. Mm, like this. Do that back bone, like this. Mm. Lift with your knee, not your back. Yeah, lift with your knee, not your back. <laughs> Do it with me, dude. <laughs> I think I should check the bait on this thing. I can't tell. Honestly. Oh, yeah, he got it. Dang it. Dang it. Can you believe it? I let him bite twice and get all the bait. Fortunately, I just caught some fresh bait. You will put a big old monkey chunk on this. Look at that. How about like that? Micah, there's a lot of gar where you're fishing. That's fair. There's a lot of gar around here, too. Oh, I have my on here, dude. Look at that. More bait! Oh, alright. It ain't easy being cheesy. I'm so distracted right now. I feel like a little kid. I think I'm six years old out here doing this. Yeah. What the what?
<laughs> no, dude, after paying eight grand for an HVAC, I'm like, I feel like that meme. I don't think I'll ever financially recover from this. Because the H, oh, look, that right there, right there, that broad. You're right, right there. Dude, the thing about HVAC, too, is, like, you can't put it off. It's not like painting your house or something like that, where it's like, you know what, we'll fix that later. It's like, well, do you want to, like, live in sweltering heat? Especially here in the South, you know, for the next six months. It's like, you can't do that. What? What the, what? What was that? Something big just surfaced right behind us. <laughs> I definitely saw white. Was it was it the white belly of a gore or a striper? Therein lies the question. Big old crappy. There you go, King Crappy. Dude, I've had the itch recently to catch some shell crack. I gotta go for some shell. Dude, I'm still waiting to get a double. I'm gonna double up in here. Oh, there you go. It just popped off. Come on, what's the other pairing for dangerous? Where am I gonna shake when it's stuck in there? Look at this, handfuls. I'm catching handfuls of Harry. No, no, no. Johnny bought two and a half dozen herring for this trip, and I'm pretty sure we've at the least like or broke even with the amount of herring we put in the boat for the amount of herring we've actually used. Isaiah, you like the shorts, bro? These are Vineyard Vines. It's like a southern company. You can get them at Belt. I'll be honest, they're kind of expensive, though. I think I got these on sale. They're a little bit on the spendy side. Yeah, but they're nice. It's, it's two and a half dozen to return it home. Oh, very good. Oh, he's on it. There he is. There he is. Michael's hit. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Oh, jeepers. Here we go. Michael's fifth and final right here. Dude, would you reel that one up? That way we don't get caught in it. And that way we don't catch something on it. You know what I'm saying? Dude, this, oh, oh, dude, that's a toad. I tell you, assume the position. Oh. Dude, we're going to make this fifth last one good. We'll make this a good one. Don't get cocky, Mike. Come on. Come on. Dude, you need to some of your lines on this side. Of the boat. I don't know what it is. Feels weighty. Come on, Piggy. It's a big old water heifer. Yeah. I don't see it yet, dude. That's a brute. Yes! Awesome! Thanks, bro. Gotcha. Awesome fish. Awesome fish right there. That's just a fatty. Like, it's a football. I'll bet that's 21, though. That was a 36, approximately. Oh, that's just a kind of a tank. Kind of a tank right there, you can see. Just another nice striper. No small fish for me tonight. That, that is a good way to end it right there. That's a good way to end it for me. Again, we're in the season right now where you can catch five, but once you catch five, you got to be done fishing. So, and I guarantee you lurking out there somewhere. Oh, is DNR watching with bios. They're just sitting there like just waiting. Wait for that moment. Wait for that moment where I'm like, oh, you know, just dropping a line down with Harry. Nope, I saw you. <laughs> He'll be like, come rolling up. Guns a-blazing. 
Now, actually, if I run into them once, they're pretty cool, I gotta say. Do you know what I mean? hit already? That looks like a bite to me. Lengthen her up. <laughs> Get a length on it. That's like, hey, like 21 and a half. Sweet. 21 and a half inch striper. Good fish to end the night on. Not bad at all. Now might just you go, just to catch some fruit. <coughs> I wonder if people get busted very often for catching the world in there. You know, if it's a common thing or if it's like, eh. Yeah. Yeah. Micah has now limited out and will feed his family. <laughs> Johnny, however, <laughs> now... I got enough to feed myself. <laughs> Johnny's little ones will go hungry, <laughs> but at the least, the father of the pack <laughs> will have some food. So he can go out again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he must keep up his strength so he can hunt again. People are always like telling Johnny what he should do now. It's like, I think Johnny knows. I mean, he, he's been sitting here watching it go on. I think Johnny's, uh, he got it. Move to the right side now. Yeah, Johnny's like, dude, if you all of a sudden move over here and start catching fish over here, that's going to be weird. Man, my God, set me up. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying, I got a sonar on that side going <laughs> off. Dude, legit though, guys, like, we're the only ones, uh, um, dude, I'm the only, we're the only ones I've seen, like, catching fish. I haven't heard anybody, like, hooting and hollering about anything, or I haven't heard any other drags going. It's kind of crazy. Oh, the guy over there, yeah, okay. Do you want me to bang on the bottom of the boat? Oh, dang it, I lost him. I think I lost him on the light. Oh, there's one. Mm. Yeah, I feel like it's that, like, that tuna fish. Have you seen that, like, the Chinese guys or whatever? They're just, like, whipping them aboard. That's how I feel like with this. I'm watching all of you, though. Ouch, I'm hooking these. These little bait, little, like, tunas. Oh, yeah. It's a Dude, nachos. That's crazy. Troll with it. Troll with it and catch like the marlin Big, and stuff. Fish. Yeah, that's that looks like fun actually. I got it. Oh, yeah. of Uden. Ah, so what's everybody up to on a Wednesday night? Just vibing? Holy cow. Just got pillaged there. It's the fresh bait. Catching my own fresh bait. Throwing it down. Dude, I have no tips on catching gar. Find a place where the gar are hitting the surface. Um, yeah, and then just use a use like a bobber. Maybe like, and then two feet under the body, use a little bit of cut bait. That's what I do. Yeah, yeah, nice size leader too. Get like at least like 25 pound mono leader. Dwight says watching you. That sounds kind of, that kind of sounded ominous the way, like, 
There's another one. Dude, I was gonna go buy bait tomorrow for catfishing, but if I catch enough of this, I might just be like, man. Yeah. I just wanna see how I'm gonna bait you fish with one cast net. I know, right? One cast net down on this sucker. Yeah. I need a little bucket. I can just sit here and throw these in. Like perch fishing? Fishing possibly? Yeah. Have you ever ice fished before, Johnny? Once a day. It's pretty cool. No matter what my bro tells you, it's fun. My brother had one bad experience. Why? And he's let it... He didn't catch anything like on a whole day of ice fishing. It was like, this is terrible. Yeah, was that was the tip, all right? What? Yeah, was the tip, too. Yeah, I got me, I got me one of those tents. Those things are awesome. They look awesome. Ronnie says, need a green light. Bro, I've got, I got a green light right down there. And the bait is piled up under it. Best believe. Best believe I can fly. Best believe I can spread my wings and go. Well, isn't this lovely? As Michael slowly jerks his sabiki rig, tantalizing. The herring can't resist. Dude, look, look at that. Look at all that bait all of a sudden. Good grief, dude. That, guys, there's just a nut house amount of bait down there. It's too bad, like, nothing can really, you can't really capture it on... Golly! You put the net on the base and lift up the net. I know, right? <laughs> it's gonna work. Let's go. There's one. Oh, jeez, bro. I'm getting caught in it. I don't know if I'm getting caught in the light. Now I think I'm just. I believe I can touch the sky. What do we got? Always keep a cast out on the boat. Well, now Jose tells us. <laughs> Honestly, actually, last time I came out, the bait wasn't up this shallow yet. Like, I put the lights out, and it, it was, nothing was coming around. We get a little small. Yeah, so. yeah. So, and I mean, maybe they've been up here for a while now. I haven't been out. Dude, I've been out to the towers, like I was telling you, for like three weeks or so. So, now we know. but now we know. I haven't caught two yet. We only caught one. Snag two. Come Singling on. up here. I think a lot of these fish are like missing it and they're just like swiping it and then I snag them. So it's just... It's just, it's yeah. Like a bunch of like treble hooks on. I feel like you could just like drop, drop a hammer on them. Good one. First time I've heard him hook one though, honestly. Ah, so what's everybody up to over there? Just vibing? A whole vibe? I am out of Yoohoo, unfortunately. Isaiah doesn't want to leave, but he has to. I know, dude. It's just so good. It's all good. It's just hard to leave when it's so good. But you know, it just makes you come back for more, right? 
fear not, Isaiah, we will do this again. Johnny doesn't have a boat, so he'll be hanging out with me a lot. Dude, you gotta get on. Have you have you been looking for a boat, or you've been kind of like relaxing? Been relaxing, yeah. That's fair. Not a lot of deals out there right now either. Everybody just wants too much for their stuff. Dude, you out of bait, bro? When did you get hit? Let me catch you a fresh piece here. I'm dropping all kinds of fresh stuff in there. Somebody said they're eating brownies and ice cream. Well, that sounds delightful. There's one. Oh, come on now. Listen to me, baby. There's one. Need a fresh one? Oh, get in the boat. I love you. Ooh, a root beer float? Lovely. Dude, I haven't had a root beer float in a long time. Oh, dude, that A and W root beer though hits different. Out of the tap, mm, that's like the best root beer right there. I don't care for Bark Sparks root beer. I don't know. I don't get the hype of Bark root beer. It's too, it's like too rooty. There's too much root and not enough beer in Bark's root beer. To be honest with you, you know what's a good? I don't think they sell it on this side of the country. But have you ever heard of Shasta root beer? Shasta root beer. Delicious. And it's dirt cheap, too. That's the weird thing. Like you can get a, like a two-liter thing of Shasta root beer for like 88 cents. Or you used to before inflation. I think I would try using like different ice cream besides vanilla and see what it tastes like. No, I haven't. <laughs> Nobody tried it yet. Huh? I know, right? <laughs> we might be missing out on something. Maybe. You know, you got a point there. Get after that action. Oh, there's that right there. Dude, it is this side of the boat, man. You got him? Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, jeez. Oh, dude, Johnny just hooked up. Big what time? Big lead. Holy cow. Oh, she mad mad, too. I'm going to bring this over. Oh, I thought it broke off when I heard the zip. There we go, Johnny. Well, maybe I'll net it. Maybe I won't. I don't know. Johnny, how much is it worth to you? Me to get the net. <laughs> Tony's like, get the soap. Dude, it's this side of the boat. That's it, that's that's all it is. You move to this side and get slammed. I'm gonna take my time with this one. Are you reeling in with the clicker? <laughs> <laughs> It does actually sound really good, yeah. You can do you know. Come on, Johnny. We believe in you. Johnny got to beat 23 inches. That's my, That was my big one. I think it was 23, right? Ooh. We're just saving the best for last here. Dude, that fish, that fish doesn't want to come up. Look at that thing. Dude, she ain't moving. <laughs> Good thing you have like one of the best net men in the business. I'm known for my netting abilities, Johnny. I'm, I'm, I'm renowned. Holy cow, you got a catfish on, dude. Ain't no way. Thanks, Polars. Dude, what? Dude, you, you snagged one of the cables that runs across the... Uh... I went down to the cable, that's all I'm thinking. Dude, this better be a big fish. It better be big at this point. You can't let us all down. Dude, what? My bros just done hooked himself a whale, dude. Dude, what in the what? Dude, we might be in for like a... Dude, you hooked the Lake Murray monster, dude. You know what? You got the Lake, the what, the Lake, the Murray Nessie or whatever it is. Look at this dude. 
Look at this man. Somebody said it's a car. Yeah. No. You ain't, and you ain't deep enough to be on the bottom. You know, because the bottom's still like a hundred feet down. Like, there's no way, unless you hook someone's line. No, yeah, he's still on there. She coming up now? It's not on the trolling motor. We know that. I just have to start. I'm gonna do what you need to do, bro. Now, what is that? What? <laughs> what, is it? what have you done? If all of a sudden I get electrocuted, I'm blaming Johnny. <laughs> I wonder if you hook somebody's like snag to mine. If it's that, like, I don't know. No, we're too far away from the pilings, bro. Those are Taylor Swift fans right there, I guarantee it. I can... There was a vehicle that just drove across the dam and like a bunch of girls like bellowing out something. I don't know what it was, I couldn't even tell. Does it feel like he's still on there? Oh yeah, he is still on there. You're gonna have to like try to horse him up, do you think? Curious what it is. Curiouser and curiouser. Well, I'm gonna go back to my Sabiki. <laughs> I've got the net ready when you're ready. Yeah, you Yeti. I want smart fish. You got a smart cookie on there, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, there's... Oh, dude, I just had a toad on myself. Gotta start... Gotta start catching these fish. I get more serious about it here. Dang it. Stop playing with your fish over there. <laughs> Is it still on? Not reel down and like you won't pop any more than that. Ah, oh my god, I totally snagged this guy, finagled and snaggled. What do you do? You gotta jump in, bro. You gotta dive down. I jump in. I ain't jumping in. There are bull sharks in this water. Coming up the lower Saluda. You and I both know that. This is just me over here at the Sabiki. Just having the time of my life. Oh. Yeah. Johnny's hooked a whale. But that doesn't want to come up. I'm catching tiny fish because I've already <laughs> limited out. I've caught my five striker. Control. What? You want to move? I'll move. Uh, I'll move for you. No, we can't. 
All right, we're gonna try to troll out of this. What's that? Oh, you want to reel it? Yeah. We're gonna try trolling out. Still on? I don't know what he done. Go back that way. Johnny has a fish and it's got him hung up. We're too far away from the towers back there. See Isaiah, better obey mom and go to bed. Probably a good thing. But thanks for hanging out, man. Johnny's on the attack right now. That's right. Music intensifies. Did he run over to a cable or something? Dude, I don't know, man. Is he still on there? Do you feel him at all? What was it? We may never know. You want me to go anywhere to stay here? He ran into a hole down there is what he did. Need another three day challenge? That's fair. We'll get to it. Dude, that's crazy, man. I don't, it's gotta be on somebody else's like line or something like that.
That's the only thing I can think of is like somebody broke off and there's a big, you know, bunch of braid down there or something that's hung around a rock. You still on there? Dang it! What do you want to do? Just try to pull it up. I wonder if he ran over here by the piling and got hung up on the piling. Because I see the line all the way over here now. I'm like, I wonder. Just came this way. Still feel him on there? Really? He's still on there. Johnny says he's still on there. He's too tired. Something's got to give down there. Either the line you're wrapped around, or I don't know. I'll bet you there's another fisherman line down there. He ran into it. That's what I bet money on. What? Beans out of some big old water heifer. You might have hooked a cow. <coughs> Dude hooked one of those like 80, 90 pound catfish, is what you did. He just swam down to the bottom, he's just sitting there. Somebody just said I was ace. That's disrespectful. <laughs> Golly. Thanks. Yeah. Do I look like I've got a million plus subscribers? Always. <laughs> what did Pink say? Dude, Pink is we go. I got him. I removed cash freaking pink. Pink doesn't like Asian people, we'll put it that way. Cash. What is this like? Dude, what is this like? 1850? Golly. This is 2023. Jeepers. It just goes to show, no matter what age you will live in, there will always be somebody that doesn't like somebody else. Lucky fish, you want to lift them. Eat again. <coughs> Pink's probably like somebody's grandfather. <laughs> Pig's probably like 88 years old. <laughs> I have to give up on it. <laughs> ah, Pink. Somebody's 88 year old grandfather learned how to use YouTube. <laughs> Golly. Dude. We're trying to break the line. Dude, being the uh, vessel is 16 feet long. Dude, I'm trying. What is going on here? Is he moving with us or what? I don't know. Do you just have like one? 
did you hook literally like a 200 pound catfish and it's just like he just came off dang it freighters do you want to go back and get redemption with another fish what do you want to call it a night i don't care no, 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 no. what in the world happened so the line just broke Dude, yeah, he, dude, he ran all the way to the bottom, yo. Oh, that's the. <laughs> Dang it! Dude, you can use one of my rods if you want, so you don't have to rig all back up. Let me get us back in position. I'll get us back in position. I'm gonna see if Johnny can hook one more here before we call it a night. We gotta. That's we're on the redemption tour now. Dude, you hooked a whale. Dude, the first year I moved here, I was in my kayak and I was out here one night and it was like super choppy. But I was, I was like, the only one out here is like, you know, like 1.30 in the morning. And I hooked a fish and like, I, I didn't have like the rod and reel capability to get it up to the top. So it's either a massive cat, like, like 50, 60 pound catfish or like a 15, 20 pound striper. I fought it for like 10 minutes. And, and I, I mean, I was like all around out here. I was just like, I was, and I had like, I didn't have like the striper stuff yet. So I have like eight pound test line and everything. And I couldn't even like, when I would lift it up, it would just be like. Stay, stay. Yeah, it felt like you hooked like a stingray. And I thought I have got just a massive fish on. So there are big fish down here for sure. We're gonna move him back into position here though. Try this again. Dang it, dude. Shoot, I gave him this I can't lie, I was gonna break all that big I know, thing. right? Oh, now we get it. See, look, we finally moved out from under all the fish. What does that say? Yeah, dude, 50 feet. It's a big one under? Yeah. <laughs> it's a whale, dude. Dang, son. That was epic. That was really epic, actually. Swing it around right here. All right, come on, Johnny. Redemption time for Johnny. Do yeah, use one of the lucky ones. Do it. Dude, I'm hoping to hook it. So I got tomorrow. I'm gonna be out filming tomorrow, y'all. And um, I'm hoping to beat my personal best catfish. Personal best is like 33, a little over 33. So tomorrow, Johnny, the, the w Lake Watery, there's a good chance I could break that. Watery's got some big old cats. Somebody said, I, I saw a picture the other day. Guy had a, now this was below Watery, but basically kind of same water. Caught like a 50 pound blue. So there's some piggies in there. There are some piggies in there. And you definitely won't try to get it on him. Dang it, Johnny, man. We tried, dude. We tried. Yeah, he, he did. He knew right where to go. <laughs> Michael, when is tomorrow's video be released? Um, oh, Leanna wants to know what's your ethnicity. What are you? You told me, and I keep forgetting. Laotian. Laotian. We're, we're... Next to Thailand. Next to Thailand. Oh, okay. My geography isn't great. So there you go, Leanna. I think that's how you say your name, Leanna. Laotian. And your wife's Vietnamese. I remember that. Yeah. Cool. And apparently Pink doesn't like either of you. <laughs> so we got rid of Pink. Um, uh, but dude, yeah, we... Uh, uh, I'm hoping tomorrow, all that to say. So tomorrow, somebody asked if tomorrow's video, um, uh, tomorrow's video won't get released if I get a video till next week, but I do have a video for Friday. Oh, somebody said Leo, bro. So you've got, I'm guessing another Laotian out there. I have this one, like that, that there's a comment that keeps popping up, but I, it's not like, it's just like something wrong in my chat. Like there's something wrong with the chat. The same comment keeps popping up.
Oh, she said, I'm Filipino, but we always get mixed up. She said, nice. It'll be dark. <laughs> I didn't say anything. Probably. I'm, dude, I've got a brother, my youngest brother, um, Alex. He's super dark. Um, and like when we go to Hawaii, a lot of the locals uh, think he's a local after a couple weeks dark. there. Cause he just gets so tan, and like his, he's just he's naturally he's got like jet black hair, dark features anyway, and um, uh, a lot of the uh, uh, a lot of the locals will think he's a local kid. Um, I did not get that gene. Nobody ever mistakes me for anything cool. But it's they get darker in the summer and lighter in the winter. Yeah, yeah. Like I just, I'm, I am just, I'm just white, dude. I'm just. All year round. Oh, all year round, dude. Yeah, I'm like a freaking glow stick. Summertime, 365. I'm red. Yes, that's right. I'm red in the summer. Glow stick, rest of the year. Nobody ever mistakes me for like anything cool. Yeah, golly. Micah, when are you going to go to Hawaii with you and, uh, um, uh, Mr. Pringles, whenever. Yeah, that's the only thing I've ever mistaken for is the guy on the Pringles can. The stash. Yeah, when I had the stash. That wasn't even. <laughs> that was a. That was a dig more than anything, too. I'm pretty sure. Golly. Next thing you know, just cut off the stash. <laughs> I know, right? I was like, that's it. Um, I'll try to get to Hawaii sometime. I got a family and stuff though, so it's kind of hard for me to like pick up three kids and a wife and travel all the way across the country, then all the way across the Pacific. To Hawaii, so Dude, we have left and the fish left. They're like the light's gone. Dang it! <laughs> Shout out from Arizona. Nice. Have you ever been to Arizona? I haven't either. My dad and my brothers have. I've never been. You've been in the airport there. There you go. Yo, Mike, can you do a backflip? No, I can't actually. I tried to learn how to do a gainer, and I could never figure it out. I could never get the coordination down to, like, bring your feet up. And, yeah, I never could. So you got practice tucking, tucking and rolling on the floor? Oh, yeah. I never tried. Come on, one piece. Give my one piece. Holy cow, what was that? Something like blue. <laughs> Hopefully the dam doesn't start to drain because we're sitting right on it. Like something just went boom. That's part of that fish I got caught in the line. Yeah, yeah, thanks. You just blew the gas line that 80 one, feet down. All of a sudden like fish start rising to the surface. <laughs> got my limit. Yeah, yeah, you're like, live it out, let's go. Just get in the boat and get out of here. <laughs> you know, it wasn't encouraging. When was it, was that like seven years ago, five years ago or something like that? They built the other dam behind us. So they have the dam here, and they decided that wasn't enough. And so they built another dam behind it. I live below this dam, just as a heads up. So, it's blood. Yeah, yeah, like, I'm gone. If something happens to the dam, like, yeah. I'm not swimming either. Water in your backyard. I'm not even, I don't, like, there's so much water here. Like, I don't even think, like, getting to the top of your house is going to do anything. Like, you'll just get to the surface faster. Yeah, get a little uh, float, like a pool float. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I probably we just all run and jump in the boat. That's probably all what we should all do. Gosh, did y'all hear that too? Somebody said they thought they heard it too. Dude, that was crazy. Almost sounded like a. I wonder if like a tire blew or something like that. Michael, what about back to Idaho? Visit, visit mom and maybe shoot a video there. My mom's not in Idaho. Um, my mom and dad are in Idaho. Um, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I do want to go back to Idaho and shoot a video. If I'll stop paying eight grand for HVAC, is I'd love to go on some trips around places. Now I gotta work double time. I know, right? Oh, is that? Oh, maybe. Uh, uh, the corner of my eye. I thought that thing took a dip. Anyway, we'll see. Something's funky with my chat. It keeps like popping up these like old messages like held for review i gotta change some sort of settings or something like that. that's ridiculous bugging me do a catch and cook 24 hours together 
We could try that. I don't know. Be like, Johnny, I'm getting hungry. <laughs> we can debate. <laughs> Turns into a, yeah. I don't know. Get a lot of meat off Johnny. Hmm. It was the final episode of High Adventure videos. Last thing you hear is just like a lot of yelling and screaming and like Johnny and Mike are running off in the distance. Knives out. It's like the catch a cook didn't go well. He's probably a fan after that. That's why this last episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got some real organ trail stuff going on here. Like the Blair Witch Project. <laughs> oh yeah. Isaiah says, do you watch anime? I don't, do you? You an anime guy? I just watch Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball Z? Yeah. I don't know, I can never get into the anime. Like, I just... I, yeah, I see a lot of people get into it now. I, I can't get into it. Yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of old school. That's a huge thing. I didn't realize how big anime was. Like... Yeah, I hate reading subtitles. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's like a... I didn't realize how big that was. What's up, Dawn's Adventures? Isaiah says, Dragon Ball Z all day. Um, I've caught my five. Johnny caught one. Johnny just had a huge fish on, though, and then it ended up snagging. Um, I don't, yeah, we have no idea how in the world it snagged. So we're trying for some, um, uh, we're trying for a redemption fish for Johnny here. Because I'm not allowed to fish anymore now that I caught my five. So, so we're just chilling. Kale says, favorite drink? Hmm. <laughs> Yoo-hoo, yeah, it's right up there. Um, you know what I like? Are they called Iz or Izzy? I-Z-Z-E? -E? Those, like, the sparkling uh, uh, fruit drinks. Have you seen those? Maybe not. I don't know. Those are good. Jaritos are good, too. Like the lime jarito. That's good stuff. No, I miss Old school, it's, it's water, but it's flavor water. Flavor water? You mean like Kool Aid? No, it, 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 it looks like it, it looks clear like this water. Yeah. But it's just the flavor on there, like hmm. grape or strawberry. Yeah. It's, it's back in the day stuff. So. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm not familiar. I, well, I probably have seen it. I just, yeah. I, but they don't have it no more. No kidding, huh? I don't know if I have a favorite drink. You know, I like a Pepsi. I'm a big Pepsi over Coca Cola guy. I like a good, strong Pepsi. You know what I like in my Pepsi too? I like a bit of lime in my Pepsi. That's good. Like lemon or lime. Mm, what are you talking about? You're missing out. Oh, somebody said Propel. Oh, is that who makes that drink, flavored drink? Propel? It's, it's way before. Oh, way, way before that? Okay. Now I'm curious. I don't know. You got to look it up, man. Dude, yeah, we slayed the herring as well. Yeah, don't, don't, don't forget the herring. I've put like probably 15 herring in the boat easily. <laughs> nah, give me a Pepsi over Coke all day. It's richer. Anything orange flavored, root beer all day. There you go, there you go. I don't know if I have a, like a single favorite drink. You got some one of those things again, it's like, I don't, whatever. Whatever sounds good. Braxton says water. Sprite. All about Fresno State. Here you go. Apparently, I guess it's called Clearly Canadian. Clearly Canadian? You drinking the Canadians drink now? <laughs> Going Canadian on me? Green tea guy. Leanne is unsubscribing because I like Pepsi over Coke. Oh, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> Look, I'm not a man of the people. I like what I like. I'm not going to apologize for it. Coke, okay, coconut water is a scam. Somebody said it's coconut water. Coconut water is nasty. Ain't nobody tells me they drink in coconut water because they love the taste. Because <laughs> it smells nasty. I won't even tell you what I think it smells like. Coconut. And it tastes nasty. 
coconut water is just a bunch of everybody is just bsing each other as they drink coconut water like one person drank it and was like this is insanely terrible and but then they're like this is good and then other people drank it and were like oh yeah this is really good oh i love this do you like coconut water yeah whatever see you're one of them he's one of them He's one of them. Coconut water. You don't even like coconut water. You, you can't even tell it, me. It depends on the brand. They don't look me in the face and tell me you like coconut water. Gosh. It has to be the coconut, 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 some of that. Yeah, probably with a lot of sugar in it and stuff like no, that. Oh, it's all natural. Oh, good. All natural. All natural. <laughs> My bro's over here cracking open a coconut and just like. <laughs> like Frodo on Mount Doom. Just like letting it spill all down his cheek and chin. Coconut's good for your kidneys. Yeah, I'll skip that. I'll let my kidneys pickle before I <laughs> drink coconut water, dude. I cook it with coconut oil or butter. Dude, I don't know if I cook with coconut. Oh, yeah, I did coconut oil. I do that for popcorn. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, okay, I've done that. You for uh, sun? Some what? Skin too. Oh, yeah, I've heard that. I haven't done it. Dude, I should totally lather up in coconut oil <laughs> for a video. <laughs> Dude, I'm gonna totally just oil up for a video. I'm gonna just be like, just lather the coconut oil on. I'm gonna go crabbing. Shirt all off, coconut oiled up. Dude, I dude, I need sun. Have you seen me? I need sun, bro. Gosh. V8 food and drink at the same time. Somebody says chocolate milk. Uh, chocolate milk's good. You gotta get the whole milk chocolate milk though. And they're like, not all chocolate milk is created equal either. You know, the only, the only reason people started drinking coconut milk is because, you know why? Because somebody ended up like cast away, ended up on an island somewhere, and all they had was coconut water. So they were forced to drink it. That's the only time that that's acceptable to drink coconut water. Leanne's sitting here. She's like, oh, I love coconut water, too. Leanne's another one. She is, again, again, pretend. Out of all, especially out of all the drinks out there, too. Like, just the absolute insane amount of drinks out there. People are still drinking coconut water. Gosh. I need to bring you a can. No, don't you bring me a can. I'm going to be out there like this. I'll be like, oh, it was delicious. I'm going to change your mind. Coconut. Okay, I'll take your word for it, bro. Do you need a fresh piece of bait? This guy, man. That sounds good. Like dog, baby. Yeah, almond. I don't get almond milk either. Do you just drink? You don't drink milk? Like a glass of milk? Bro, no wonder your bones are soft. <laughs> Gosh. He is drinking milk. <laughs> You gotta be drinking your milk, bro. Drink my milk from the cereal. Gosh. Yeah, almond milk. I don't get the almond milk either. Yeah, that ain't nasty. Almond milk just nasty, straight nasty. Plus, I don't see. Good. Yeah, almonds are good, but I don't want like, I don't know how somebody's like like milking the teats on an almond either to get almond milk. That, that has to be really tedious. So you say you squeeze milk out of almonds? Yeah. <laughs> some walked up to some random almond, <laughs> squeezed on his. <laughs> Just filled up a little cup, slurp that down. This is really expensive. Yeah, golly, don't tell me that. Oh my goodness. What else? Dude, I had a pet peeve the other day. I can't remember what it was, though. Oh, man, there was something that. Uh, People are like squeezing the life out of almonds for almond milk. See, that's just wrong. That's wrong. Like, just let it, like, that doesn't, seem, that doesn't seem natural to me at all. It seems like, that. what do they call that? You know, it's like you got like free range chickens. You know, like that's not like a free ranged almond. You know, we have to go squeeze the life out of the almond to get your precious milk. Like how much milk is coming out of an almond, right? Well, different eggs, they have free range eggs and all that. The free range eggs just Tastes compared to me. caged eggs? Oh, bro. I don't even know. I'll be honest with you. 
grass. You gotta let those milk. chickens just lay where they want to lay. You know what I'm saying? Just they take the same. I, I I know. How did they get the yolk with double yolks? And some eggs that had double yolks. I don't get that. It's kind of like sexing the chickens. <laughs> I don't get that. Like like they say that like after a while, people just know. It's just like an intuition thing. You get it? Light through. Oh, it's two yolks. Yeah, I. It's. Chickens astound me because they're delicious, but also like there's so much you can. A chicken is very versatile. You got the feathers, right? Yeah. You can do all kinds of stuff with chicken feathers. You can make like fishing lures with chicken feathers, right? If, well, I mean, in RuneScape, you collect chicken feathers for like fly fishing and stuff like that. There's your RuneScape reference. Um, <laughs> the chicken itself is good. I mean, you can fry a chicken, you can grill a chicken, you can bake chicken. You got chicken pot pie. Smoke a chicken. You can smoke a chicken. You can, you can. I mean, yeah. Smoke. But, but no. you can stuff a chicken. Forgot that you can use the eggs for desserts. You can use the egg. I mean, yeah. And then, then, then you got the eggs. I mean, we haven't just touched the eggs yet. I mean, the eggs are good for everything. You just, just eat the egg itself. Is Boil, good. Fried, Boil it up. <laughs> fry it up. Scramble it up. I mean, the chicken is probably it's. Dude, I'm going to just sit here and tell you right now that chicken is like, it's like the Swiss army knife of animals. You can roast a chicken. Yeah, I mean, if I roast a chicken, absolutely. Like, you could stuff it. What, is, what, a, what a, an excellent bird. There are no other birds you can do that with. You know? Get a chicken farm now. Yeah, dude, now I'm talking about. Like, think about, uh, you could steam a chicken. Like, apparently, I've never tried steaming one. But think of, like, an ostrich. Like, you imagine eating an ostrich egg, like, cracking that big sucker open and, like, trying to put it in a pan. <laughs> like, can you even do that? Big old pan. Nikki donates $5 and says, how much did your heaviest catfish weigh? It's a little over 33 pounds. We're going to try to beat that tomorrow. Turkey, though. I don't think you can do the same thing with turkey. you eat turkey eggs? Turkey got eggs. Do they have eggs? How do turkeys reproduce? I've never looked into that. It's got to be eggs, right? Never seen. I've never seen turkey eggs before. Has anybody actually laid eyes on turkey eggs? But turkey, I mean, can you fry? I guess you could deep fry turkey, but you nobody's like taking turkey and like frying it up like fried chicken, right? You know, turkey, you can uh, eat it. Oh, it's ducks. Never mind. Ducks is you can eat meat, meat animal. They lay eggs. I don't think tur turkey lay eggs. I think they give birth to live young. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like 90% positive that a turkey gives birth to live young, dude. Are they like elephants too, where it takes like three years or whatever to like develop the young before they have a baby? I don't think that's a turkey all the way. Dude, somebody mentioned chicken soup. Excellent. Excellent table fare of chicken soup. Like the chicken has all this stuff named after it too. Like it's got pies named after it. It's okay. got soup. The only thing you can't do is eat it raw. That is the only thing, but I mean, who knows? Maybe you could. Salmon. Could you eat a chicken raw? Salmon. That's, I do, that's what I was gonna name my, uh, that was gonna name my boat last year after taking those chicken out to catch crabs, the SS Salmonilla. Heck yeah, dude. Oh my goodness. Yeah, every other meat that's good. Jacob claims turkeys lay eggs like chickens do. I doubt that. I've never seen it. Google what's that? I've never seen it. Do they nest? Do turkeys nest like chickens do? All of a sudden, the turkey intrigues me. Like, we were going to name Benjamin Franklin wanted the turkey to be. The, the the bird, the U.S. bird, you know that, right? We were gonna, it wasn't going to be the eagle, it was going to be the turkey. Where would we eat eagles on Thanksgiving then? Would that be the big thing to have like massive eagle farms and like you ate an eagle at Thanksgiving if the turkey was the was the it was the was the, the, was the U.S. bird? Braxis says, look up turkey eggs. I kind of yeah. refuse at this point. I'm just going. <laughs> oh, do they lay eggs? They lay. That's unfortunate. That kind of blows like a lot out of my mind One here. One clutch of egg per year. A clutch these, of eggs? These clutch of eggs can 
as small as four to as large as 70 eggs per nest. How many? Four to? Four to 70. So once a year though. Yep. See, but the chicken's got that beat. Cause that chicken's just like, bam, egg, bam, egg, 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 egg. I mean, just all the time. Like the chicken's just walking around. It's like, oh, hey, I'm gonna drop an egg well, over here. Day, it's like, I'm gonna drop an egg under this tree. I'm gonna go back to my nest and drop a, a couple eggs over there. Like the, the, what's going on inside the chicken? It's crazy. I mean, yeah, think about that. Think about if we would have been eating eagle. Like, like, yeah, like somebody said, would you pass the eagle leg, please? Like, would, like be stuffing eagles every Thanksgiving. Like, it's probably, you know, eagle probably tastes phenomenal, too. This American bird. I mean, you you got to know that eagle probably is just like some of the best meat you can get out there from fowl. You just can't yeah. eat it. I just guarantee it. Now that we can't eat it, we're not allowed to eat it. Chicken for catfish bait. That's right. Somebody said chicken are small dinosaurs. Chickens eat their own. You know what else eats their own? Bunnies, too. Yeah, bunnies will straight up, like, go savage and, like, eat their own young. Yeah. Everybody looks at a bunny like, oh, this is, like, fluffy, cuddly. awesome, cuddly. Savages. Yeah. And, like, the bunny will just sit there and be like, I'm hungry. Oh, hey, I just had, like, five kids for, like, the second time this week. Like, nibble, nibble. yeah, and it's just like, I'll just consume one or two, and you're just like, whoa, this isn't right at all. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That make nice cat. I know, dude. Have it's you like ever tried duck eggs? eggs? Somebody asked. Yeah. Are duck eggs any good? Pretty good. They're pretty good. I've never eaten duck eggs. Chicken ramen noodles, kind of going down a rabbit hole there. <laughs> Goose eggs, dude, 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 goose, geese can go extinct for, for my, for my taste. Geese are just mean. They're bullies of the foul air, of the air foul. They're loud. They leave just, just a mess everywhere they go. Yeah, they you can't eat goose eggs. I mean, maybe you can eat goose eggs. I don't know. Maybe you're out there like sucking goose eggs or something like that. But just like, I understand people eat them, but they're just a nuisance. You know, it's just like... I, like a goose. No, I just don't like geese. I got a beef with geese, really. <laughs> you must got chased by a few. <laughs> Dude, I don't even let them do that. You know, people. I see those people like running from the geese and stuff like that. It almost like makes me mad. I'm just like, I would if if a goose <laughs> ever like I would just drop kick that son of a gun so fast. Like when they hiss at me, like I'll hiss back. <laughs> I'm I'm almost 30 years old and I will hiss back at a goose because I refuse to be bullied by some foul weathered <laughs> feathery long neck cracker jack yeah you run away from the chicken down chasing you <laughs> dude now i almost got my eyes like spurred out by a rooster when i was like four or five years old they got the claws. yeah they got those spurs i actually that's a true story like uh i actually like i got like pecked and spurred by a rooster um when I went, I, I think I was just like roaming out in the yard or like maybe I went to go collect eggs or something like that. And, uh, and like this, like that, that rooster like chased me all the way to the house and it was like pecking me and like spurring me. And so I was like all, like my mom said, like I opened the back door and I was like crying and I had like blood coming down, like, like where it got me like on the neck and stuff like that. And, uh, my dad grabbed the shotgun and went out and shot the rooster. <laughs> like, like literally like that moment, he grabbed the shotgun, loaded it up, went out and just boom oh, just like trouble. yeah yeah i was like i think i would do the same thing too though yeah. like anything that like came after my kids yeah, i would just i would just load the there. gun and be like it's done no like i, I wouldn't even ask questions yeah, yeah eat them after what yeah eat them after i don't know if they did or not <laughs> yeah i don't i mean you could have but uh i mean i, I have to ask them be like did they uh did they uh oh, eat them yeah, <laughs> yeah like pop the rooster and uh, just to assert dominance you ate it later that night. You <laughs> plucked it and ate it. Let me show you who's boss. Yeah, yeah, I know, right? Oh, my goodness. Oh. Dude, Johnny, we missed the bite window, I think. I know, everybody don't know. Oh, that's true. Everybody did leave. Well, y'all, I think that might be it for us. Johnny's got to work tomorrow. I got to work tomorrow. We'll have to come out here and do this again. Let's let it keep warming up. And um, maybe we'll give it a try again. So...
Oh my goodness. The chat was fired tonight. Y'all, thank you so much for hanging out with us. Um, it was slow starting, hot in the middle, kind of died in the end. But, you know, that's just, dude, that's, that's why they call it fishing, not catching. I, I, I hate that, dude. I really hate that. I, I can't believe I just said it. Anyway, thank you for hanging out with us on a, what is this, Wednesday? I guess it's technically probably Thursday right. now. But on a Wednesday night, hope y'all have a great rest of the week. Enjoy um, whatever you're doing. Remember, we're on the downhill slide to the weekend. So the uh, summer has just started as well. So if you're one of the kids out there that got out of school, congratulations. Enjoy summer. And um, yeah, Johnny, I think we've got to come out and do it again, right? Yeah. Maybe in your new boat, whenever you get like a bigger boat than mine. So anyway, y'all, thank you so much for hanging out. Juan Yi just joined. Juan, where have you been, man? We'll come out and do it again, dude. We'll come out. Micah won this round of the tournament, but since the scale broke, I find, kind of feel like it's like, eh. So, anyway, one, but kind of, dude, my, my, my live well is acting up over here. Anyway, y'all have a great night. Thanks for watching. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Maybe. I can't click the exit button, dude. <laughs> End it. And, oh, hold up. One, he says, love the videos. <laughs> How much did? And donated $10. Thank you, Juan. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks to everybody who donated as well. I appreciate it.